Nakamute ka ba? Ba? Ayun! Okay na? Ano ba yun? Hello okay. everyone. Ay, hello ulit. Hello ulit. Um, dalawa po yung screen ko ngayon kasi para mas mabilis akong mag, ano, mag-share and magsalita at medyo madaldal ang iyong speaker. Speaker talaga ako for today. <laughs> and also, huwag kayo mahiya mag-chat or mag-comment kung ano man or if you have um, the urge to really speak up, huwag kayo mahiya mag-unmute and, you know, talk to me kasi I really like talking with people and knowing and knowing you guys um to a level na kung saan pag walang wala kang pinapost sa social media regularly wala kang makukuha 107 po oh, sige ako tagal na ng quiet sorry girl na wala ka ulit girl Nasama ata ka sa namin. Oh, wala. Ay, okay, go. okay lang. Alright, diretso na tayo dito. Wait lang, nasan yung chat ko? I, I need to see your chat. Chat, things. Um, chat box. Alright, ayun. Nostalgic seeing Vic talking in the same exact spot. <laughs> okay, wala lang magbabago kasi ito talaga yung spot ko guys kasi maliit lang yung space ko sa apartment. So this is my office, corner office. Diretso na tayo dito ah. Um, represento ba to? So this is about um, how do we simplify our lives with using systems. Uh, for sure, kayong lahat meron na kayong in a way system, sistema or system processes na ayun tawag dyan, na sinusunod ng sarili nyo. Hindi nyo lang na realize that it's already a system and probably konting tweak na lang yan at uh, actually pwede nyo that talaga siyang gamitan. And so this is just uh, making you guys realize after this, uh, the goal of this is making you realize things that there are things na pwede nyo palang i-level up ng kaunti na merong marami akong na, na meet na akala nila, ito yung parating sinasabi nila, akala ko organized na ako, hindi pa pala. Meron pa palang ikaka o oh, um, higher level na pag-organize. So this is not just about you being a freelancer. This is also you as a, a parent, if you are, as a person, as a business owner. Being a freelancer, you, you have to embody that you are a business owner. This is your business. You're providing service, hindi ka lang empleyado. So, changing your mindset from an employee to a business owner is somewhat medyo mahirap minsan i-attain, but I hope that you can get a glimpse of that after this session. Um, 2 hours ba tayo dito para three, ma three hours, Diga ba na inform? 3 hours tayo. Ay, 3 hours pala. Okay, bongga. So, oh. kasi this is just about one hour and 30 minutes to 2 hours and then gusto ko Q&A after. Uh, tanong kayo ng tanong after, okay? So, how to simplify your life with system. So, I'm just gonna say this. Um, if there are other people here that have already been uh, with PBSA because I did this last week with them, there are a few slides na inuulit ko because these are very important. But I've also added new slides um, because I've talked to a lot of people within the week. And so, <laughs> I sleep pala yung three hours. Um, I've talked to a lot of people within this week and I have discovered that there are other things pala that you guys want to know more about. And so, I've added some stuff here. Kaya, the, the, uh, the people from TBSA asking me if may bago ba, Yes, I feel like every time my free webinar ako may bago talaga. It's not going to be the same every time. So, going back to the slide, champions are brilliant at the basics. Uh John Wooden, I don't know if you guys know him, he's a uh, um athletics coach um sikat siya sa athlete na world. Um making sure that, you know, you know the basics. Like in accounting, uh, sa accounting, guys, accountancy student pala ako. I'll graduate na pala. And accounting tech, double degree holder. And I also did PBSA and I also did um, some um, lessons with Coach Yanyan and Miss Beth. Um, so in accounting, you have to know the basics, right? Dapat alam mo si debit and si credit. Dapat alam mo how to chart the accounts. You cannot know how the complexities, the deferrals and whatnot 
kung hindi mo alam yung basics. So, if you champion the basics, you can actually do everything else. So, that's just how it is. Um, nire-relate ko lang. Uh, pag alam na alam niya yung basic, kahit balik-balik ta rin ka dun sa mga komplikadong bagay, tas babalikan mo lang yung basic mo, for sure, makukuha at makukuha mo din. Kasi babalik talaga rin sa basic ko. Or babalikan mo lang talaga yung basic accounting equation, kumbaga, to, to solve like everything about um, finance and accounting. So, making making sure that hopefully ma-embed nyo to, ha, that you cannot do something so great if you do not master the basics. So, I highly suggest if you're pursuing bookkeeping and doing agencies and whatnot, you master the the basics. Kasi most of the time, yung mga tanong nila, theoretical, pero so, sobrang basic. Pero yun yung bakit di natin masagot. Pero alam mo pa, pa alam nyo ga, paano gamitin yung Zero and QuickBooks. Pero pag tinanong kayong something, hindi kayo makasagot on top of your, of your, ano, on top of your mind. Si Miss Yan yun, alam niya yan. <laughs> ano, di ba? Minsan tinatanong sa mga interviews. Sobrang basic ng tanong, pero nakalimutan natin. It's because we haven't mastered it. So I hope you guys do this in all things that you do, hindi lang sa bookkeeping, even in your life. If you master something within you, you can apply it, you can expound it. Dami ko na nasabi dyan. <laughs> all right, next is, hey. so um, before uh, anything else, uh, baka ako mag-story story sa buhay ko ng slide. Um, ito yung agenda natin for today. Ha? So I'm just gonna share a little bit of my story. Nadagdagan ko lang yung kay Ms. Yanyan. I'm gonna show you the four freedoms. Yung may alam na, chill lang kayo dyan. And then I'm also gonna show you how I prioritize. And um, guys, uh, please make sure that you kind of listen to this kasi all, all my thought leaders, I haven't found someone in the Philippines that actually implemented or as a coaching service or um, na ganito. Because my thought leaders are all foreign, uh, Australia and um, US. And gosh, guys, I, I pay a, a lot of money there. And um, for this to be free, dito, for now, for now, <laughs> for now, um, sobrang value bomb na nito. And hopefully you guys would, would appreciate everything that will be discussed for this webinar. Um, so that, that's just that. So I'm just going to start. I'm Tinker Vic. I'm a Tinkerbell. So all my clients, all my offer or all my webinars right now, these are usually offered to foreign clients only. Hindi ko siya naisip na i-offer or i-share sa local. Kasi hindi ko naman alam na meron palang uh, nangangailangan dito. Kasi Pinoy tayo, usually, ah, alam na nila yan. Kasi, ano, parang common sense naman, parang ganun. And then I'm offering this to, to foreign clients that are so busy, don't know even how to do their email properly, don't know how to do the calendar properly. So, sobrang basic. Pero most of the time, these are overlooked. But these are very essential to any business sa era ng digital world, right? So, even kayo, di ba? You get, you get to be, become, um, what you call that? <clears throat> Bookkeepers. But then you also have to do your email. You have to do your calendar. You have to do your own file management. And then you have clients na bookkeeper lang naman yung um, parang service na dapat provide nyo. But you're also doing a lot of these things. Which is most of the time, yung, yun yung kumakain ng oras. Which I will discuss in a bit. So, Again, I'm Tinkerbell. They they always tell me I'm their Tinkerbell. They always, I know, they they'll just call me, "Hey Tinkerbell, can you please work your magic?" So parang um I had a friend that told me, "How about you just embody being the Tinkerbell?" And then I would say, "Oh, Tinker Vic sounds good." So yun na yung parang branding ko. So guys, if you tag me hashtag Tinker Vic. <laughs> All right, so. Sino nga ba ako at bakit nga ba ako nai-invite sa mga live live kinami the past few weeks? I just started actually first week of September, parang my coming out. And Miss Yanyan was like one of them na, ano, ano nang ganap, ano, ano nang ganap mo dyan, girl? Ano pa yung nagagawa mo sa world? And I was like, I shared to her and I shared actually, um I think, prior to August, uh, prior to September rather, um nag-share ako sa Sa, sa group. Guys, do you guys want to be a part of my case study? And um, a lot of people 
actually wanted to be in that, but I had some limitations because that was for the workshop. So, guys, ano na lang din ako. Um, sasabihin ko na lang in advance, uh, part of this is gonna, I'm gonna mark it sa end na I actually have a workshop for this. Um, if it's okay, okay lang ba sa inyo na mag-promote ako mamaya sa workshop? Sabihin ko na lang. <laughs> Thanks, Jubilee. And so, that part, um, I really did not want to kind of, of host or like create a workshop kasi sino ba ako to create or share this workshop? But then, Um, another mentor of mine, which is Coach Saraya, told me, bakit hindi mo i-share? You try mo i-share. So I did it for free, guys, ha? May siyangyan. Arami na dito yung nakapag-free sa akin. And, and most of them said, go na, push na, girl. Sige na, gawin mo na. And I was like, kailangan pa ba? Okay na tayo, kayo na lang. And then sila sa, hindi, marami pang kailangan matulungan. And, and so I cleared up some of my schedule and sa gusto ko man i-free ang lahat ng tao, parang wala na din naman akong kakainin pag ganun, guys. So, ano na lang. Um, let's compromise uh, with each other's time kasi, kasi yung time then has value. So, that's how I became to be na nagla-live and showing up online. I don't usually post anything online, pero ngayon lang ako medyo maingay. Kahit noon, di ba, miss yan yan. Di naman ako maingay sa SOCMED. Sa, sa messenger lang ako maingay, pero sa public, hindi. Ngayon lang. Tapos, guys, sobrang yung support niyo. Thank you so much. Um, I'm nearing 500 likes on my page. I'm nearing 1,000 friends on my Facebook na medyo stagnant before. <laughs> Napa-flag na ako ni Facebook, guys, kasi feeling niya spam ka. <laughs> Anyway, all right. So moving on, salary man sudden death syndrome. If you guys are going to Google this, this is true. This is happening, and I don't want you guys to be in this, in this position, or in this space. Or if you guys had, then I don't want you going back to that. This is real, ha? Huh? Kairoshi. It means or translated literally as uh, overworked death in Japanese. It is an occupational sudden mortality. Sometimes it is not diagnosed as it is. It will be a heart attack, stroke, um, stress, and uh, due to starvation then. And this phenomenon is very rampant or widespread in parts of Asia. Especially ngayon, um, I've, I've seen this with online sellers that just dropped dead. I've seen this with um, Japanese people because they really work hard over there kasi ang mahal sa Japan. Um, there are other countries that are also experiencing this, hindi lang Asia, um, in the States as well. Kasi, di ba, sobrang mahal, sobrang inflated na lahat ng prices, so they had to have two, three, five jobs at a time. Hindi yung ganito na virtual, but very physical, and that's very um, stressful sa body nila, or sa body natin. <laughs> so, there's that. And there are people that has experienced this and has been diagnosed. Gusto niyo ba ang pumunta kayo dyan sa, um, it's, it's, it's not just stress or it's not just I'm tired. It's actually death, guys. If you do not have your proper systems up and sobrang, um, there will be a point in your life, in your freelancing life, which ako din ay napunta. Miss Yan Yan din at one point. Um, we had that burnout. Yung, yes, alam na namin kung muna client. So, if you actually get on a roll with that, na kukuha ka na lang, kukuha at kukuha ka na lang ng client. Hi, hi, TL Vita. Thank you. Um, kukuha at kukuha ka na lang client. Um, TL Vita also, uh, here. Hi, TL Vita. Mention ko na lang. <laughs> I know. One time I saw her on LinkedIn that she was like, or, or on her Facebook post, that in a way, meron siyang, nag-downtime siya. Like, She paused, which is good. Kasi minsan, yung sa mga newbies dito, probably yung burnout nyo ngayon ay, wala akong client, paano ba magka-client, I don't have the right skills, I don't have much experience and whatnot. That's totally fine. It's okay to experience that. And once you get out of that, tas dadami na yung clients nyo, hindi na uubusan ng kliyente, guys, ha? Feeling nyo, ang dami na ng freelancers, wala na ako na kung ang kliyente. Hindi yan totoo. Mas marami negosyante at mas marami ang businesses. So, once that keeps uh, rolling, grabe. Pataas ang pataas, parami ng parami yung kliyente. Minsan, hindi na ikaw na mag-a-apply sila. Hindi na yung mag-message sa'yo. And then, dun ka na parang 
have a burnout. Why? Because you don't have your proper systems up. So if you create a business, if you are a freelancer, I want you to treat yourself as a proper business. A proper business has a business plan. It has its own processes or SOP, Standard Operating Procedures. It has its own built-in systems. So if you are treating yourself as a business, as a freelancer, be a proper freelancer, treat yourself as a business. Or you could also um, apply the entity concept of, of accounting, which is you have to separate that business from yourself. So separate kayo. You have to treat that as a proper business. Okay? Hindi, hindi, hindi mo gusto yung negosyo mo mag-down or mag-decline or be stressed, right? So if you treat yourself that way, mag, mas stress ka and yung negosyo mo patay, patay lahat. Not just, not just freelancing business, but also yourself, your family, and lahat that's around you. So I hope nag-gets naman yan. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So going to the four freedoms pa lang. We have... These are the four essential freedoms for me. And um, these are the things that I feel like you guys would, would want as well, like I did. At, at this point of my life, I feel like I'm all good with that. Pero hindi naman ganyan parati, guys. <laughs> Meron pa rin mga ups and downs kahit na parang nakitigure ako kung makanyari yung, ano, yung life mo. And people would tell me, I am sorry, Timo, you figured it out. You're so young. Bakit ako, I've talked to like a 60 plus person. I'm, I'm like 60. I still haven't figured out my life and whatnot. No. Every time you, figure, you, you think you've figured out something, my another blockage, my another challenge that you, have to, that you have to get over. So, at sa ngayon, contento ako sa meron ako. And, and right now, my challenge is being a mentor, being a coach, because it's so new to me. Um, going on social media, posting, it's so hard. Uh, and so, yun yung mga challenges ko at the moment. But right now, spiritual, di ako nagsisimba masyado, guys, pero I always donate, I always do this fundraisings and whatnot, and I always pray, even if I'm not going to the church, but I know I should do that. And I did. At, at, uh, I went to a church that was sobrang layo, guys. Yung pinag-effortan ko talaga yung isang church na yun. It was like four hours drive. And then there, I think it started there. And then yung nag, nag um, pray ka na not to ask for anything except guidance, but to thank Him, si Lord. Like, thank you, Lord. Instead of, Lord, pwede bang ganito? Pwede bang ganyan? Bakit di pa ako binibigyan ng ganito? Di pa ganyan? Kasi it's always like that eh. Aminan man natin, it's always been like that. Uh, I only know a few people, and right now myself, na pag nagsisimba, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for. And I only ask guidance and nothing else. So at that point of spiritual freedom, right? Fine. Bakit? Um, if you're if you're spiritually free, you feel it. It's 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 uh you're embodying it, and you're actually freeing up time then for yourself because then you you actually have time to get to, to go to church or to do this fundraising, to do this donation drives and whatnot. So that goes time. So the time that I had was free. I had I had free time to do that, right? And the only thing that that makes that happen is because my career is going well. I hindi ko hinahabol yung task ko, hindi ko nahabol yung clients ko. Guys, I have 10 plus clients and a full-time, pero kaka-resign ko lang two weeks ago ng full-time. And I'm doing this workshop. On top of that, I have two um, bitches. Bitches are female dogs that... The nananganak <laughs> and one is very problematic kasi ka, ako pa yung nagpapadede so people would tell me hindi ko pa naranasan yung mga 2 hours lang yung tulog guys um, I had 5 9 puppies all in all na pinapadede like every 2 hours so um, yes I had my taste na of like kahit wala pa akong anak I feel like it would be the same if I have if I had my own kid so there on top of everything of that I it was only possible for me to do that because my career is go is doing well. And that went well because I had my systems already uh, set up. 
alam ni <laughs> si Anyan yan. Mabilis lang ako mag-onboarding, guys. 20 minutes. <laughs> Hindi ako ganito kadaldal sa mga kliyente. And then, so if that career is good also, meaning, financially, I'm also being taken care of already. Because how would I afford to have the time and to have the spiritual freedom and to be able to um, share with others my time, ganito, my time with you guys, if I was working and if I did not have anything uh, financially. Or if you can see, I've donated to some of the charities already, which I've been doing noon ha, but medyo malaki-laki yung amount na um, bultong binigay. <laughs> uh, it's because of the people that shared their blessings with me as well with the free sessions. Hindi ako humingi ng pera, but they said, girl, eto, sabi ko, saan ko gagamitin yun? <laughs> so, yun na. So, inisip ko, okay, let's reach out to some of these um, shelters kasi um, I'm a big firm mom. So, we donated 100% of the proceeds of, of those na nag-donate to uh, two shelters, uh, Oasis and then Far From Home Living. And, yun na siya. So, if you, if you see what what a system can do. That's what it did to me. And I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm not promising that it will work for you. This is not the whole system naman din, guys. You have to figure things out then for yourself. Because what works for me might not work for you. And what works for you will not work for me. So it's very personalized. Um, I cannot do it one-on-one. -on -one. Siguro, how many are we na ba? 112 o oh, 10. 110. Less time dalawa. 110. Oh, grabe dami. Hindi ko naman kalang isa-isahin tayo, guys. Ha? So that's why I'm saying na um, in a way, you have to figure other things out. And nasa na yun. Alright. So, there. Um, before we start with that, uh, something that makes everything else easier or unnecessary, this is the thing. Um, you do something for yourself. Be selfish. If you create your system, be selfish. Unahin niyo yung sarili niyo. This is one thing that I would um, relate to. Hopefully, nakasakay na ang everyone ng aeroplano, no? Um, but if you haven't, uh, this is what they would always tell you. Uh, always put your mask first. Example, kung magagalo and whatnot. Always, always um, take care of yourself first before you take care of others. So be selfish in a way because if you become selfish in a good way, that's the only time that you can share to others as well or you can help others as well. It's not, I have to break that mentality na kasi we were bro we were raised to always um, think about others first, help others first. But how can you help if ikaw mismo, you also need help, diba? So let's break that barrier. It's kind of different now. You have to help yourself first Make yourself better first. And then, if you're all good, then everything will overflow. Yung pag tumulong ka sa ibang tao, hindi siya mabigat. Or it's not like, hindi mo feel na pabigat sila. It, it, it's, it's that way. So, do something first that makes everything else easier. Or, pag, pag hindi, if it's necessary, wag na muna. <laughs> Next. Um, these are... Let's, this is the start of doing a prioritization. So, American President Dwight D. Eisenhower, he, um, with World War II. If you guys are familiar sa hospital or sa ER, they have this, what they call triage. Triage meaning they would assess you right away if ano ka ba, there's a category. Different for every hospital, different for every e emergency room, ER. Uh, they would triage you. Um, people that I could help and could live. Um, people, life and death talaga yung mga examples, guys. Um, people that need immediate help but can live. And then there would be people na wala. Uh, even if we help them, they'll die. And those are the people that we cannot. Um, masakit man, pero we cannot help them. So they, they had that during the war. And that's why I think um, they had this. The next one is the matrix. So the urgent and important. The urgent are seldom important and the important are seldom urgent. If you guys would understand this better, I think, with a matrix. 
So there. Um, how or why is this included in my presentation for you guys today? It's because almost all the people I've talked to, even foreigners, uh, feeling ko wala tong race or wala tong color, people would always say, I need everything done today. Um, I have so many things. I don't know where to start. Or like, uh, bakit di ko nakikita yung sarili ko? <laughs> um, wait lang. Nasaan ba ako? Ayan. There. Uh, so, parating ganyan. I don't know. Wala tayong pulse dito. <laughs> di na set up yung pulse sa, ano, sa, sa Zoom. Anyway, you guys, if you could just say it, yeah, um, chat kung na-experience na to or nakaka-relate ba kayo that yeah, I, I George, actually, I did not post this. Um, Karen did. Karen May did post it. And then I shared it. Di nga okay. ako post eh. <laughs> Yeah, but but thank you. Yes, uh, this was posted by Karen. I, I reshared it. Thank you so much to Karen. Um, guys, if you want to deep dive into this, uh, Google it or like, uh, find an article that would most resonate with you because there are different interpretations with this. So you could also interpret it the way that it works for you. So how do you prioritize? If if you're so cluttered or your thoughts are so cluttered with what are the things that I need to do first? I feel like I need to do everything. I feel like I need to do everything today. Everything kailangan ngayon. <laughs> Hi, Lenny Ann. So yan yung pinag-usapan namin ni Lenny Ann this morning. Lahat, kay, lahat kailangan kong gawin, actually. It's like that. And it, and you're right. You have to do everything. Uh, I, I won't tell you that you don't need to do anything at all. Or one task is, is not as important as the other. But at a moment, at a specific moment, you have to identify which one are you going to do first. In a life and death situation, like the triage in the hospitals or the ER, it, during the pandemic, that was also how it was. There's a triage. Triage is spelled T-R-A-D. There. <clears throat> um, you have to decide which one is the one that you can help right away and can still live in the deficial pa din, di ba? Or that's something that, you, that, that could give you more benefit. Like, say, example, um, Let's say not life and death. Medyo, ma, 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 medyo ano, heavy. Um, life and death of a, of a product. Ganon, diba? There's a product life cycle. There are things that you need to do first and then there are, there, there are products. Nasa e-commerce kayo and there are other products you, you have to let go, diba? And then there are products that you have to focus on marketing first kasi yung trending. So, you're seeing my desktop. Um... Why? Here. Is that all good now? Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> okay. Ayan. Okay na ba, Rema? Thank you. Um, so, when you decide or when you prioritize, this is uh, urgent or important, then that's something you have to do first. And you're the only one that can categorize it if it's urgent for you at a specific moment, right? Kasi bukas, magbabago. That something, uh, task number one, could not be something urgent and important anymore. Kasi nag na. It's fine pala. So, if it's not urgent, and it's not important, you delete it. Or, on this, on this I have to contest with, ano, with, with President Eisenhower with this. Because I don't want to delete things. I might need it. So, Sa akin, in my matrix, I have the revisit list or I'll, I'll, I'll check on you later list. Like, you're just an idea dump for right now. Like, bigla akong naisip, oh, I actually needed to check on my YouTube account because I need to see how many subscribers I have. But it's not important. It's not urgent. But it's not something I want to delete either because I really want to do it. Pag may oras na sobra during the day. So, I put it back. Yep, right, George. It's kind of a back burner. It's kind of, but I, I just worded it, my revisit list. That way my mind would be triggered to actually revisit a list. <laughs> so there's that. And then um, if it's urgent and it, if it's not important, but it's urgent, but it's something you can delegate, 
do it. The power of delegation. If you have someone that can do it, that you trust, they can do it, na similar sa'yo, and it's urgent, but you cannot do it at that moment, go ahead and delegate it. Me, I delegate things that I do not like to do. <laughs> Even if it's urgent and if it's important, but for me, it's so stressful. I don't like to do it. I will delegate it. My social media, um, for sure, we have tried. You guys, kahit hindi tayo SMM. Yes, yes, still be that. That's right. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna talk about a little bit with to do lists later. My my anasha, my bonus style, Jan. Oh my gosh, na una. Um. So with my social media, it's very stressful for me because I cannot figure out the right colors for me. I cannot figure out where to put, what font to use, and whatnot. And being a freelancer, we wear so many hats. We need to upskill. We need to find clients. We need to prospect. Um, we need to create our contracts. We have to show up on social media. There's just so many things that we need to do. On top of that, we have house chores. We have our kids. We need to do our financials. We had to do laundry. We had to, um, what are we going to eat next? What, are, what am I going to feed my kids next? My husband's going out. Uh, does he have his clothes on? If you're that kind of woman. And, and like, there's just so many things, not just about business. And being a freelancer, it's kind of mixed up. And even if you're an, on a nine to five job right now and a corporate job, think of it this way. Your work, the nine to five that gives you money is feeding or like financing your house and everything. But when you go back to your, ho to your house or to your home, that's actually still work. It's just the second work. You're going to do all these tasks that you don't also have a system with. And your kids doesn't have a system then. Most probably feeling, oh, mas may sistema pa yung mga anak nyo. Kasi you guys are telling them, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that. But you're not doing it yourself. I mean, I, I am very much guilty of that. My dogs are well-trained, but I'm not. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Because I wanted to build the system for them. To discipline them so that it would make my life easier. Para hindi ako parating na gaano ng kalat nila, there's poop, there's wee wee, there, there's still accidents. I mean, think of it as I have um, five, two years old, two year olds in, in my apartment plus infants. But I, I needed to train them. So they have this time schedule that they need to go out, but if it rains, they cannot go out. So I have accidents. They have the laundry area if they want to go there. They have a doggy door. They can go in and out. But then there are still times that ako yung nagkakamali because I forgot to open the door or to unlock their doggy door. So I cannot blame them. They know their system. I'm not the one who is. I'm not the one that's disciplined enough to actually sundin yung system na binigay ko sa kanila. Same as for the kids. I was brought up with my grandmother to always make sure you ready your clothes um, the night before you go to school, all the things, lahat, packed up and everything. And yeah, I did that as a kid. But then my grandmother in the morning would be like, da -da 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 -da, so many things. She wants everything done right away. And of course, ako, so it disrupts everything. So if you're a leader, if you're the mom or the dad, or someone that is the household keeper in a way, the housekeeper na helper, <laughs> pero sana din yung helper niyo, meron din sistema. If just every everyone's checked in, everyone has a system in place, not necessarily na system na ito talaga ang kailangan yung gawin step by step. Not like that. That's like training a robot. You still have to give them their options. A system with options. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. You can always create a system for yourself that has options and that has flexibility. Because we don't want someone that's, if you're a student, sobrang bookish, yung wala nang opinion, it's just plainly um, nasa libro, yung parang nagmememorize lang lahat. And then if they answer yes, they get correct, but then if they get asked about their opinion and what you really think about, nothing. So, hindi naman ganun na sistema yung gusto natin. We still want to have some fun, um, guys, sa kalendaryo ko, kasama yung fiesta ng mga baryo kasi na high fiesta ako. Ganong level ng, ng fun and, and um, pagkakalendaryo ko. You guys do fiestas over here? 
or ako lang ba? <laughs> ako lang ba? All right. So that's how you prioritize. Um, that's how I prioritize, and hopefully you get something out of this, and you kind of tweak what you have at the moment, the system, and you apply it. And let me know if that worked for you. If not, there are other matrices, maraming different versions of this matrix, and you can create your own on how you want it categorized. And, you know, it's a starting point. Next is the empathy map. The empathy map, so here, si Tiel Vita ay nauna, <laughs> there are some things na we list them down and we wanted to finish them during the day or during a certain time frame, but then we couldn't just because for whatever reason, we cannot finish them. And that thing, sometimes if we haven't finished it, it frustrates us. It stresses me out if I don't complete anything at a specific time frame. And I do not want to move it sa bukas kasi gusto ko tapos na today. And so that's how I would overtime, I would lose sleep, di ako matutulog, or, kasi gusto ko tapos siya. Kasi pag hindi ko siya natapos, stress na stress ako. Or like, ah, bakit di ko natapos? Or like, ano ba yaman yan? Ang bagal ko naman magtrabaho. I mean, this is not how it's supposed to be. So I got frustrated and stressed. So sarili ko lang din naman. But you guys, if sa ibang tao, I don't know if you guys um, know empathy. Um, yung parang naaawa or like you get, what's the term? I-Google ko nga. Ano ba yung tamang term sa Tagalog? Yeah, in Tagalog. Do you guys know? Nakikiramay. Nakikiramay. In a way, you relate or you... you Ano ba ang tamang word dyan, guys? Basta, <laughs> empathy. I mean, you feel for the other person. Something like that. Um, if someone tells you, TL Vita, I was not able to create this past, blah, 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 blah. Okay lang yan. We still have tomorrow. As long as you did your best. Parang gana. We have that when we talk with, to other people. But we don't talk to ourselves like that. Kasi sobrang pressure natin yung sarili natin. I don't know if ganun kayo, guys, pero ganun ako sa sarili ko. I mean, I have so, I have a very high regard of the things that I, I can do because I know I can do it. Pero minsan talaga mabagal ako. Bakit? Hindi ko talaga gets bakit. Noon naman nagagawa ko to siya ng mabilisan. Pero bakit ngayon parang ewan? It's like that. So you have to feel for yourself as well. You have to make sure that you also understand and is aware that, that you as a person uh, hindi businessman, hindi ano man, you as a person, you have to be aware that you will be in different mental states at different moments of your of, of, of the day. There are times that you're just so productive, you're so in your in, in genius zone, and then lahat, nagawa mo lahat today. Tapos bukas, you wanted to do it again, pero hindi na. Meron ba nakaka-relate dyan? <laughs> Meron ba kayong ganyang moments? Like, Today, gusto kong gawin lahat, everything. Tapos nagawa mo lahat, tapos bukas, parang burn out ako, pero gusto kong gawin ulit siya. Pero hindi na nagawa ulit. And then you get frustrated again. So, you do your empathy. You you exercise, um, you exercise feeling for yourself as well. If you can do that to other people, why not sa sarili mo? <laughs> yes, uh, I think so too. Dahil hormonal. Spirit sounded moment. So, yeah, it's like, it's like, um, yung sinasabi natin, parang, ah, sinaniban ako ng sobrang productivity today. Like, parang gusto kong gawin tong lahat superwoman ako today, ganon. And so, we do that. But then there are times that hindi talaga siya nangyayari. So, I don't want you to say na you're, you're, you're not being productive at the moment. It might be just low productivity, but not na sobrang hindi ako productive today. You could put um, yourself in, in in a different person's shoes if ibang tao siya, like you separate yourself. Kung ibang tao siya, would you still say the same? Siguro kung kapatid ko, <laughs> minsan. Kasi, diba, minsan pag magkakapatid, wala mong preno. Oo oh, nga, bobo mo naman, parang karon. Pero yun yung bonding sometimes. But you don't actually say that to other people or like a, um, someone in your business, right? Or someone, a co-worker. You, know? you don't say it to people like that. So if you treat yourself 
as someone that's in business, you would always tell yourself, that's okay, as long as you have a deadline, it's fine, you can still do it. Um, you motivate other people, why not motivate yourself as well? So in the empathy, in the empathy map, we always like to say this, um, what are the things that you like? So me doing my tasks, if I have like a task list already, what are the things that I like most? And then I would do that. Why? It, was, it would trigger my brain or it's like in the hormonal sense, may I explain to guys about the last three hours. Hello! <laughs> um, sino yan? Um, what do you like? So sa akin, I like to do things or the tasks that I really like first. Either um, mahirap siya, um, low prio, high prio, is it a heavy or um, or um, heavy task or light lang na task or light work. So I have this um, light work, and then I would have this deep work. So deep work are those para kailan maraming brain cells yung gagastos ko. Light work is like parang routinary work. Ganun. So, but there are days that I don't really feel like working at all. Like this week, I did not work Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, guys. <laughs> Did not work at all. I was just playing games and being on social media and I did not feel really well. But I had to do some things because, you know, there are clients. You need to make them happy. So my trick there, or tip rather, is do your task list. Um, I'm going to introduce you to our ruling and task list in a bit. Um, do what makes you or what you feel na gusto ko tong trabahuin. Kahit di mo naman gusto, pero parang siya yung parang gusto kong unahin. Why do I do this? It, because it tricks my mind. If I do that and that makes me happy, that will actually make you think or make your brain think. Ah, nagawa ko siya. Oh, I can move on to the next one. Or like, you set a game, you set a goal. And dyan papasok yung parang gamification. If I don't want to do any tasks, I provide myself an incentive. So guys, I really like games. I do games. I, I, I do stream. In my YouTube right now, um, with my, with my partner, we played Tekken. It's been a long time since I played that game. No one kasi joystick yun. Hindi eh. ko alam kung makaka-relate dyan. Yung either play, PlayStation or yung hulog-hulog ng piso. So that's where I, I always play before. And I didn't want to do anything. But I need to do something because it's important. It's urgent, so I need to do it. So it um I enter into this zone of gamification so gamification is one thing that's like incentivizing yourself it's like with the kids um if you have 100 uh point score you'll get an ice cream or you'll get your phone or uh, you'll get that new shoes or new toy or you'll get that new game in the steam you know mga Pinihingi ng mga, ano ko ngayon, mga niece and nephews. Uh, I want to buy this game to Steam. The so Roblox and Minecraft and whatnot. So, we gamify them. So, we incentivize them. We forget, as adults, that, that's, that our brain still works that way. We could say, not necessarily money or something you need to buy. We could just say, oh, um, if I complete this task today, pwede akong magpa-laundry hindi ako maglalaba sarili ko. You know, making other chores lighter. Delegating something. So you could gamify that. So one of my clients, I do that with her. She's a foreign client. Um, she's in Texas. And that's my incentive for her. Pero siya din niya. But we're implementing that. So she's she hates laundry. She hates folding clothes. And I will make her life better if she makes her job like the tasks so that's a game for her because oh if i'm gonna do this um if i'm if i'm gonna complete them and blah 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 by the end of the week i don't have to fold laundry i can put it away give it to someone else and then it will be delivered to me so that's something that we forget as adults because we're always just thinking paying bills paying whatnot buying this buying that um, earning we forget to have some fun and put um, the, the fun into the tasks that we have. But how can we do that is to make it like a game. 
for ourselves, right? Do you guys do you guys do that with your kids? If you have kids or even sa dogs ko, I do that. And so I'm doing it myself na din. <clears throat> May nakikinig pa ba? Hello? Hindi <laughs> ko alam eh. Anyhow, paano ba siyang makikita? Ayan. <clears throat> Nawala na. Okay. So, what are you thinking? So, what are you thinking means, um, so what do you like? So, what is the thing that I like? So, I do that first. So, what are you thinking? So, there are times I do a task, but I'm, th I'm thinking about something else. And that's okay. And you have to accept that it's okay. It's actually okay to do that. Um, <laughs> it's actually okay to do that. And you don't have to beat yourself up for it. So if you're thinking about something else, like I would rather, or I would have been doing this if it's not for this, but then you go back to your prioritization. Ano ba yung, ano ba yung mas priority mo? Yung iniisip mo at the back of your head or the one that you need to do right now? Because if that at the back of your head is something important and urgent and something you really have to do, you can actually just pause this task and then you go to that task, right? Put it in your revisit list or like do later list. Ganyan. Because if there's something bugging you at the back of your mind, hindi ka makaka-focus dyan kung ano may ginagawa. Right. So, dito, compare products. I think this is because of, <laughs> this is because this was for product development. Compare products. For me, me comparing products for this matrix, this is actually by SketchWow. Um, they, they have this on their templates that I really like. I, hindi ako affiliate guys, pero bongga yung app nila. <laughs> um, so compare products is, for me, I, I always compare things. Instead of, instead of, um, instead of products there, the products that I would mean for myself is I always think about what tools I'm using or am I doing this right? Or am I, is it faster if I do it this way, that way, parang ganon. And then that actually takes time. How about you actually do it? Tatapos na sana kahit sa inisip-isip ko pa. <laughs> Kasi minsan, ang dami kong plano sa utak ko, kung ginawa ko na lang, natapos ko na sana. Minsan ganun. And so you have to stop kind of comparing things in your head. Yung parang mental na kinukompare mo lahat ng dapat ba ginawa ko ng ganito? Dapat ba ginawa? Paano kaya kung gagawin ko ng ganito or ganyan? And so, if you just actually do your task and kung ano may yung resulta nun, dun ka mag-iisip. Oh, I could, have re I could revise a little or that. Or, prior to that, you create your plan. Para, happy na yung plan mo. You already had a system. You just have to implement it. Hindi mo na kailan isipin it while doing the task. And so, that's actually why in some organizations, you have a project manager. If you have a great project manager, naisip na niya lahat yun. Yung tao, gagawin nila yung task. Right. So, there, you feel confused as well. So, if you still con you're, you're still feeling confused about everything, you know, it's okay to stop. It's okay to rest and recuperate. And, like, just breathe. Like, <sighs> okay. Ano bang gusto kong gawin sa buhay ko today? So, like, you can always, um, kung babalikan ko yung chat ni, ni, um, to do, um, something na, <clears throat> I mean, it's in Abini, the Alvita Hanina, that the to do list or like your day to day, it's, it's something that changes. And yes, it does. So it's okay to change things as long as you get back to them if it's something that's really important. If it's not something important, I will not go in. If it's something unnecessary and it just slows you down, wag na lang. Para yung mga k drama natin, guys. I mean, kailangan ko yun, pero minsan hindi naman talaga siya urgent pero kailangan ko yung matapos para ma-fulfill yung curiosity na utak ko <laughs> pag nasimulan may ganun din ba kayo feeling nyo kailangan kailangan nyo yun pero hindi naman talaga alright so here happiness, hard work, and patience this is internal guys for you this could also be external so if you have this um, this is called a Venn diagram you could also do this um, ka alam. I will just assume that not everyone knows it. Diagram. You could do this. Like, you could have three circles separate. And then, if it intertwines, and yung nasa center, what is it? If it's not success the moment, 
maybe you should change your perspective and like change things on the way you perceive um, how others think of you, how you think of yourself first and foremost, and so there. So how, how, how is it? Diba? Usually, sinasabi talaga nila na, work smart, not, don't work hard, but work smart. But really, guys, if you didn't work hard before, you couldn't work smart today. That's just an end result. Because if you didn't work hard before, you didn't study well, you didn't, um, not necessarily study, you did not experience some of the experiences you had before, hindi ka magiging wise. Working smart is being wise. And that's just a, an end result or a product of the experiences that you had before. Diba? So people would always say, don't work hard, work smart. But no, you cannot actually work smart if you haven't had all these experiences or learnings prior to being smart. If you did not know these things, it, it doesn't really always mean na educational. There are other people, yes, sinasabi nila, drop out lang. But there are just people that are geniuses. It's their talent. It's something in it. It's in them. Di na nila kailan aralin. Um, it just comes to them. And it's fine. Sila yun. But there are those people na hindi ganun. <laughs> um, like me, I had to go through all these experiences with bookkeeping, accounting, my my uh, I had my experiences with my family. I had experiences with um negosho. I did my own brand of cosmetics. Meron mga ganun, guys. And then I did online selling. And then I did lots of things. Um, even if uh no pa ako, I did a lot of things. That was hard work. And since I experienced all those, I could now work smart because I know things, I can go around things because I've already experienced going through it. And you can only go around things if you actually know what's happening. Right? So that's how you work smart. Not everyone gets to work smart right away. Hindi lahat suerte sa mga ganang bag. So, there. So before you get to... Yes. Yes, exactly. Yes, Tio Vita. I have a story there, actually. Um, My... Paano ko ba siya sasabihin? Sister ng grandfather ko is very bright. Uh, so, she's my lola. Um, she's very bright and sobrang talino niya. Pero her husband is in some way average, pero mas nag-aaral. You know the people that, ano, yung intelligent na ayaw na mag-aaral because they feel like they know it. It's fine. I mean, I, I learn fast and whatnot. But what happens is those people that, that reads more, that's more consistent, Sila yung mas nag excel kasi doon sa talent lang that, you know, you don't do anything with that. So if you have talent, you cultivate it and you get um, ahead of others. And then uh, there are people na wala naman talent but really persistent, very consistent. And so, and so, um, and so, yun, mas nalalagpasan nila yung, mas, yung may talent. Because most of the time, other people also that are talented takes it for granted. It's because it was easy for them. They did the work hard for it. Not hindi naman nila lahat ah. Pero I I know some people. Uh one one of that is me. <laughs> one of that is me. There are things guys that is is very easy for me but I did not cultivate it right away. Like organizing. I did not think that it was something I could capitalize on. I was very good at organizing given when I was a kid. I did organizing so well. I organized um, um, 100 plus participants in, I don't know you guys if you know Focolare, it's GenFest. Uh, I did that. I, I was invited as a speaker on that event. And then I also held like a lot of fundraisers, donation drives, if there's Baguio and whatnot here. But I did not realize that doing something like that was actually something I could do as work. And I did not treat that as work. So that was kind of like talent in a way. But I didn't, I was not aware that I could actually, you know, deep dive into organizing and learning and, and being consistent and reaching out with people and offering to the point of offering it. And people would pay me for it. Kung hindi ko siya parang nakultivate as a talent, I would not be here speaking to you guys. So, one person 
was me before. Now I just I took it for granted because I didn't know that was something. Na talent pala siya, <laughs> something that I could use and share with people right now. And then when I actually figured it out, the na ako parang naging ah ano pala to? Pwede pala. There are people. There are other people. I did market research. There are other people that are doing this and whatnot. So yeah. So really, kung may talent ka lang, you don't actually know or aware or acknowledges the talent. Wala talaga mga yari sa talent na yan, guys. So, but but we have we take different paths, and so different than yung mga ano natin, parang reaction of each um, decision that we take. So it takes us to different paths. So going back, happiness, hard work, patience, um, breeds success. So. If you are patient with yourself, doing all this hard work, because it doesn't happen overnight, guys. <laughs> Ko ano man ang meron tayo ngayon, it doesn't happen overnight. Even if you're older than me, younger than me, um, it just does doesn't happen overnight. It might for some people, but most of the time it does not. And even for those people that it does, like I also had an experience that I did a quick win from ten dollars to thirty dollars per hour. It didn't last long. I mean, the money's still there, the client's still there, but I'm not. Hindi siya ganon ka happy, kasi yung work na yon was not something I enjoy. So right, so there's that also, and so yeah, and all the other things that are outside, it's up to you if you let them in. If you, if someone tells you that's a bad idea, like like people told me, ano yung virtual assistant? Ano yung Online, online. You're an accounting graduate. You should be in an office. Go apply and a clerk, uh, be a clerk or something. Because you're not going to board exam and whatnot. Ano ba yan? Oh my gosh. Ano ba yan? Hindi yan totoong trabaho. Ano ba makukuha mo siya? <laughs> Mga ganun. If I listened to that, would I be here speaking to you and having this 10 clients and whatnot? Hindi, di ba? And so, I, 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 I left. I, create, I, I left. I went out. I got my own place and I created my own system here. And that made me into, and got me to where I am today. And so, yeah. And then the other things, that's a waste of time. A horrible naman yan. Or like, you're just losing money. Because I did some business before and people were telling me I'm losing money because they give it giveaways. They just didn't understand that it's part of marketing. Right? So, maganyan. So, if you listen to other people, I mean, it's good to hear them out. But not necessarily you let them in. Do you guys do you guys get that? Does it does it make sense? Let me know in the comments if or like the chat if that makes sense. It's okay to hear them out. The people that you care about, especially those, it's okay to hear them out. But it's up to you what comes in to your mind or para nagiging selective hearing. Ganon. Yep. So yeah, you filter what you listen to. But there are also times na tama naman sila. And we are the one rejecting it. And so it's still up to you to make the decision. <clears throat> Carmi, minsan, those comments fuel me, makes me motivated to prove them wrong. There are those people that are like you, Carmi. And that's kind of like me to, like me as well. I, I'm going to soar high. I'm going to make this work because I'm going to prove them wrong. But there would be others that doesn't have that drive. Now, if people are telling them these things, they cannot function because they feel like whatever the whatever external um, ideas or external hearsay they 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 hear or other things that other people say to them, they feel like it's them. Na absorb nila, and they need someone else to pull them out from that and let them know that hindi ka ganyan. Sino ba? Meron bang ganyan dito? <laughs> Guys, let me know. Pag-usapan natin yan. Okay. Next is here. All right. So everyone here is in a course, probably on a workshop or um, just learning on free uh, materials or even sa bahay nyo, if you have a partner, you're still learning about them. If you have a kid, you're still learning about them every day because it's different every day with kids i with my dogs it's different every day with them <laughs> it, it's like that mga aso ko guys sila yung kids ko for now but i also grew up with kids ha? i have i have like 
Ilan na ba siblings ko? Princess June. Kasi maraming anak, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think we're seven. I think we're seven. Na kilala. Recording in pro- Hala, hindi nag-record. Ngayon pa ba yun? Um, so, we are seven all in all. And I'm the eldest. And most of the time, if you're the eldest and the grown-ups are away, you're the parent. And so, if I'm the parent at that moment, they have to follow my rules because I'm the one in charge. So, even then, I was already a systems creator. Yan talaga yung parang sinasabi nila. And I had just a quick chat with my cousin, which I grew up with. Um, sabi niya, oh, bata ka pa, ganyan ka na talaga. Good thing you, you found that and you're doing that because you actually enjoy it. And I say, yeah, I do. And so, ganan siya. And there. <clears throat> so, going to the slide, what we do usually is we just learn, 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 especially with the workshops. Um, sorry if patatamaan kayo, there would be others that would just enroll, learn, and learn, and learn, but don't really apply anything. I was once in that state, which is very bad, guys. And then there would be people na ina-apply ng kaonte pero hindi naman nagpa-follow through. Yung Ang galing-galing lang sa simula ng workshop. Very excited, very hype. And then, pag parang patapos na or minsan the community gets silent or your group is not really working well, uh, ang boring ng group mates ko or more, we're not really, click, hindi kami click ng team ko and stuff like that, it, it you stop. I don't know. Sinong ganyan dito? <laughs> Paano naman dyan? Pataas ng kamay. Um, so you guys do that. I did that. I don't know if you guys did that. So Carmi lang yung kausap ko. And then, um, so what we do is, ay, nako, hoarder, si Rema. Right. Being a hoarder, they said, sabi nila, hindi naman daw tayo hoarder. Gusto lang talaga natin na makuha lahat just in case, di ba? Just in case. So I have that. So I feel like a hoarder. Pero I just feel like I might need it someday, so I have to get it. I have that mentality. Pero yung papa hindi ko naman din talaga nababalikan yung iba. <laughs> Pero guys, na-correct ko yan ha. There was a time nag zero client ako, wala akong pera and everything binalikan sa mga course ko. Doon ko na sila parang, Pero wag nyo antayin guys na mag-zero client din kayo bago nyo balikan. Okay? Hinay-hinaya, hinay-hinay. Na, 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 naubos na yung Tagalog ko guys. Um, nabisaya na ko. Um, hinay-hinay. Hinay-hinay lang. I hope that's understood though. <laughs> I think that's the same thing. Yeah. But yes, Remo, sometimes I get a course just for future reference. Just because I might need it, but really not. Diba? But there are times, yeah, it, it works that way. <laughs> yes, bisaya. I'm from Ormoc Leite, guys. Um, so yeah. So what we usually do not everyone, ah, but what we usually do, including me, we just learn, 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 learn. And we have so many thought leaders. We have so many, what you call this? Ang rami-rami na nating pinafollow na coach, mentor, groups, whatnot. And they have different ideas, different interpretations and whatnot. Tapos nagulo na yung utak natin. Kasi sino ba yung susundan namin? Yung iba, bakit ganito yung sinasabi? Yung iba, bakit ganito yung sinasabi? Uh, mag, mag hi hello kayo dyan pag ano... Mayroong ganyan dito. <laughs> at, at some point in my freelancing life, I was like that. Until I narrowed it down. That I will only follow at least top three. Parang ganon. Or my top five. Local mentors, local thought leaders. And I will have my top three, top five foreign um, top leader, uh, thought leaders. So thought, thought, you're a freelancer or a business. Or whatever you do in your life right now you find someone na thought leader mo. A thought leader is someone you follow, someone that makes impact sa life mo, someone that you could actually probably benchmark. Sinasabi nilang mangungopia, ma-imitate and whatnot. That's just business. We always start from imitation. And then we make it into our own. And that's in marketing, we call that benchmarking. Or in finance or in business, hindi siya, imi- hindi siya imitate or gaya-gaya. We call it bench benchmarking. There. 
So what we actually need to do, we actually need to read, read properly. Like if, if it's an article, if it's a, it's a video to listen and have that focus so that you could learn, so that your brain could actually absorb what you're... Because I mean, son, I'm, I'm, I'm reading something. Yeah, natapos ko yung buong libro. I'm so happy. But when somebody asks me, oh, have you, do you remember this blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. It's not a specific thing that's being asked, but just the gist of it. And then I'm like, na, nabanggit ba yung doon? Parang hindi ko naman matundaan. Or hindi ko naman yung nadaanan. Ganun. Tapos babalikan ko, ay, hala, shit, nandun pala siya. Ganun. So, that for me is an assessment that I was not actually learning. I was just reading and not absorbing it. So, if you read, if you watch, and then you learn, you should apply it. Because once you apply it, 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 it becomes um, part of you in a way. It becomes part of a habit. Yung parang, um, in accounting, when I was still a student, we always had this calculator that when you start with that calculator, that's your calculator for life. I still have it now. And we had to build our muscle memory. I don't know if you're, if, if some accounting um, people here had that training in school that you had to build your muscle memory sa kamay nyo, so that you're going to be like fast. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> and that was like so hard. Um, and if you change calculators, parang ang hirap. So I, I had to buy the same unit again and again. Feeling di nag-aaral kapag ibang calculator. Yes, totoo yan. So you had to remember the unit of your the unit of, of, of your calculator. Or sometimes I really bring it to National Bookstore. Do you still have this? I hope you still have this unit kasi ha, hindi ko alam paano mag-calculate pa iba. So ganon siya katindi, guys. So if you up you, you read it, you watch it, you learn it, you apply it, you build up your muscle memory. Guys, your brain is a big muscle. So exercising your brain, that's building up your muscle memory. Um, tingnan niya na lang, um, parang metaphor na lang natin. Parang nag-gym yung utok niyo. Ganon. So, and then when you, when you learn, you apply. And then mostly, because we see it from thought leaders, we see it from other people, you see it from me, you improve it. Because what I'm sharing with you guys, again, going back, um, hindi siya kailangan na yun din talaga yung sundin nyo. Kasi kung ano yung nag-work sa akin, hindi talaga yan. Most of the time, hindi nag-work sa ibang tao. Because being, being organized, making your own organization, making your own system sa sarili mo, internally, um, what, what other people may seem na um, it's easy if the, if it's this way, pero sa, sa utak mo, ang komplikado naman yan, di ko naintindihan, ganun. And then sa utak mo, meron kang gusto gawin. Sometimes you cannot execute it, you cannot visualize it, you cannot put it in paper because you're still thinking so much about it. So that's why I recommend, go ahead, find a thought leader, find a mentor, find a coach, read something, watch something, learn it, apply it. Whatever you get from there, you improve it for yourself not for other people but for yourself because if you improve sa sarili mo you have your own then magre-resonate yan as minsan para siyang pandemic din if you're organized everyone else will be organized para nagiging ganun siya uh, once pa- pag nakita nila na parang effective talaga pero pag feeling nila magulo din para hindi naman siya magkakatay-katay ng ganun it's just what happened to me with my clients and their teams. And so next. All right. So pre-pandemic, guys, before, <laughs> 9 to 5, kids go to school, I go to school, I get to work and whatnot. Pre-pandemic, we had a schedule, we had a routine, we had a system in place. Na hindi naman natin inisip, it was just there. We had to wake up, we had either shower or eat. Anong nauna? Ako, I usually eat and then shower. But people would say it's bad. So you have to shower and then eat first. And then you drive or you commute and then you go to work. After five, you go back, you drive, you go home. When you go home, you eat dinner. And some people would shower and then in this no wake up, you go to sleep. Right? So you had your system. And that's what make it work. makes it work. Because nung ha- bata pa tayo, hindi siguro lahat, pero most of us, would have the same system. And everyone was so comfortable with that. 
Kasi every Monday to Friday or Monday or Saturday, that's the thing that we follow. And our body knows it already. Kahit minsan na-relate. But yes, our body knows it. Like, like yung utak natin, Hoy, late ka na. Madali ka na. You will skip other things just to get to the end result. Diba? But during pandemic, what happened? When we did freelancing because we want to work our own hours, we, we want to wake up kung ano yung gusto ng oras, and whatnot. Pero yung sa totoo, guys, nangyari ba talaga yun? Hindi. Yes, nagising ako ng 10 a.m., 3 p.m., pero ano din naman ako, hahagulin ko yung oras kasi, hala, may task ako hindi na submit kanina, and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. Or like, um, you set your own deadlines, tapos di mo din naman natapos, kasi you didn't have a system now of your own. You, you forgot the system that you had because we are always saying, no 9 to 5. But really, if 9 to 5, um, works for you, why not? Right? There are people that went back to corporate because that worked for them. Because they didn't know how to work at home. Because they didn't know how to set or like put the boundaries between home and if they're working. And so like that. My partner is like that. I told him, why don't you become a freelancer? Like, he said, no. Because I can't put that barrier like you. Like, you I can be on the zone and I can't hear anything else if I'm working. <laughs> and he's not like that. Every time my counting um, sounds, he would always be distracted. So he say it's best for him to be in an office workplace rather than at home. So that's for him. And but I'm fine with that. And then, sa akin naman, sa sarili ko, I'm, people would say I'm not on a 9 to 5. No, but I follow Eastern time. I like my time na gabi, which I follow um, Eastern time, which is 12 hours baliktad sa atin. So if it's 9 p.m., 9 a.m. sa kanila. I like working those hours. It's not, not necessarily meaning na nagtatrabaho ako na 9 hours then na 9 to 5, 9 hours ba yan? Sorry kung mali. Pero hindi naman <laughs> buong oras dun tinatrabaho ko. But I just like working those hours. So that for me is being free. Because I get to choose my working hours. But that works for me. While other people would say, I'll just work two hours. I'll just do one hour. And then nag, nag games ka or nag YouTube ka, nag luto ka. You were playing with your kids or doing something house chores. Tapos wala na, you forgot about something. Kasi you did not set a proper system on when you work for work or when you get to do your house chores. Or your kids, or your whatnot. So getting that priorities. Your priorities needs to be set. So you guys, if you haven't um, downloaded my workbook, um, that would really help you to pre-plan your week, if you can. Um, but I'll share with you something later on. Um, guys, meron ba ganito pa? Sino yung ganito, bumalik na sa my sistema sila at sino yung now pa? Na nandito pa sa baba. Anyone? <laughs> Tumabas na yung... Ikaw, upper. But, but Alexandra, were you able to experience this ano then? At now? Currently at now? Okay. Pero bumalik ka na. That's nice. Hopefully. It doesn't mean na kailangan 9 to 5, ha? Just put something like a system na pag ko, I should do this, I should do that. You have your morning rituals, your evening rituals, and then the things you would get to do in between. Okay. So, yun na siya. Tapos na actually siya dapat. Hindi ba? Hanggang quarter tila. Gusto niya ba yung bonus, calendar, and to-do list, and the champagne moment? Do you guys know yeah. what a champagne moment is? Yan mo na unahin natin. Alak Revamping alak my alak old. Eh. Anong moment? Alak moment. Alak sing ko na eh. <laughs> Alak, sing ko na. Sabi nila, ano ko mahina. Ano yan? Sige. Sige. Alak, sing ko. Diyos ka, sinong nag-BPO dito? <laughs> Paglabas, alak muna. Bago uwi. Um, meron na ganun dito. Or ako lang ba yun? Parang ako lang ata. The Singera mode. Teenager mode. <laughs> anyway. um Yes. So, calendar and to-do list. Kayo ba ay nagkakalendaryo? Yes or no? 
Alam niyo ba paano ang tamang pagkakalendaryo? So, pili kayo A or B ha. A, annual, quarterly, monthly, weekly, uh, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, or baliktad. B, daily to annual. Mauuna si daily to annual or, ma or letter B. Nauuna si daily. Daily to annual kayo. Alright. Connect ko lang ulit sa kay PLB ta kanina sinabi. Ah. Yung daily natin usually nagbabago. Pag yung daily ba yung binasihan niyo for your weekly, tas nagbabago-bago always daily, yung weekly niyo sira. Is, does that make sense, guys? Kung si daily ang inuuna niyo, si weekly, si monthly, si quarterly, si annual sira. Kasi nagbabago-bago si daily all the time. Hindi yan perfect na susundin nyo yan. Okay? Pag daily to annual kayo. How about, I'm not saying everyone should do this, but how about you try this lang ha? You try it. If it works for you, great. If it does not, then by all means, go back to your daily. How about you try it annual calendar going to daily? Meaning, ito yung parating tanong sa akin, ano yung kinakalendaryo ng annual? Oh my gosh, guys! Di ba kayo nagkakalendaryo ng birthday nyo? Um, birthday ng kapatid nyo, nanay nyo, anniversary ng jowa nyo, birthday ng aso nyo. Um, ano pa yung mga holidays sa Pilipinas? Ako, holidays ng Pilipinas, Australia at US. Nakakalendaryo yan kasi gusto ko mag-holiday parate. Kung saan yung holiday doon, i-holiday ko yun. Ganun. So, that's my annual. Kasama yung fiesta, guys, ha? Kasi, ako yung namin fiesta, pumupunta ako. Tapos, guys, tip ko, pag mabait naman yung kapitana siya, ano, kapitan, kapitana siya, <laughs> barrio nyo, doon kayo mga fiesta, siya may pagkais. <laughs> kahit, kahit sa same na barrio kami, doon ako kumakain, hindi siya kami. Anyway, going back sa kalendaryo, I do that. All annual life events, personal events, not business events, that, yan yung nandun, or yan yung parang uh, mauuna. Yan yung mauuna. Bakit ba? Hindi ako, ayun, gusto ko nakikita kayo. Eh, si Miss Yan, yan lang yung nag-video pala. Um, yan yung mauuna, guys. Yung lahat ng personal events ko, yun yung mauuna. Bakit? Kasi, Selfish nga ako, di ba? Alam, unahin ko muna sarili ko. I need to make myself happy para mag-resonate siya, lalabas siya, magiging happy din kayo, mataas energy ko, mataas energy ng clients ko, mataas energy ng lahat ng kuusap ko. So, Gina G, chill na chill, feeling nila, wala akong ganap sa life. Pero, yung totoo, naka-ano na sila, naka-plot na yung ganap sa life. <laughs> so, hindi na ako magsasabi, ay, nakalimutan ko, sorry! Or like, hahabulin ko yung file ng leave ko kasi, oh, birthday pala next week, kailangan mag-file na ko ng leave. Tapos, hindi pwede kasi dapat two weeks before pa ng leave. Ganon. Or like, sa clients ko naman, right now, I'm gonna share with you towards the end, <laughs> um, how I do it, na hindi na ako nagpa-file ng leave sa clients or um, even sa companies that I try to change their ways. So, I don't do those things anymore, guys. Tuturuan ko kayo ng tip mamaya. Kasama to ng phase 1 ng workshop ko. So, <laughs> so, shush muna kayo guys. May muna ang pagsasabi. Atan na atan na muna. Magla-lunch kami next Monday. Um, Monday 26. Oh. Guys, lunch kami ng 26. Abangan nyo yun. Um, so, yan siya. So, unahin nyo yung life events nyo. Goals nyo sa life nyo. Example, ako shopping. I have my quarterly shopping. Alam ni Miss Yan yun, you know. <laughs> I have my quarterly shopping. Tinatanong nila ako, nasan ka, girl? So, wait lang, nagsha-shopping for me. <laughs> so, last week of September, I did like shopping mode. Kasi, guys, I'll show you. Meron akong quarterly nililista dyan sa whiteboard. Kasi, di ba, kakalipat ko lang. So, marami pa akong appliances na gustong bilhin and whatnot. So, sineschedule ko sila quarterly. There are things that you can put in your calendar. And then there are things that you can put on your to-do list. Those are different. Do not make your calendar your to-do list. And do not make your to-do list your calendar. 
paano siya ginagawa. And one last thing, do not make your email as your project management or task list thing. Kasi magulo yung emails, guys. Unless sobrang may share ako sa inyo niya mamaya. Unless sobrang organized nyo na. Katulad ng ginagawa ko sa clients ko. Pwede, pwede naman siguro, pero hindi pa din advisable. So going back sa annual. Sa annual, gawin nyo yan lahat. Huwag niyong isipin masyado. May susundan sa inyo workflow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> huwag niyo munang isipin masyado. Ano ba yung mga kailangan kong gawin sa annual? Nako guys, huwag niyo munang isipin ng ganyan. Kusang lalabas yan pag tinina niyo yung kalendaryo niyo. Like, kahit sa phone niyo. Tapos kung ano lang maisip niyo, lagay niyo agad. Lagay niyo agad, lagay niyo agad. Every day na rin kayo maisip. To add, 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 add. Huwag niyo gawing isang sit down. Kung kaya niyo ngayon, birthday lang muna, fiesta, ganun, yun lang muna. Um, life events, death anniversary, anniversary, mga ganun. Yun lang muna. Um, holiday sa Pilipinas, automatic yun. Pwede niyo isubscribe yun agad sa Google Calendar yun. May laman na agad yung kalendary niyo. Hey! Hey, hey! Alright, sorry guys sa aking mga aso. At kung tatanungin nyo kung sa kliyente ko ay ganyan din sila, yes, ganyan din sila. Pinapakilala ko sila as my bark staff. So kung may mga um, kids kayo running around, tell them it's part of your staff. They're, they're just ano, chit-chatting sa background. Okay? Chill lang kayo din mga clients. <laughs> so kasama yan sila. Anyhow, going back. So kalendar yun, no? And then, once you have your annual, you get to your quarterly. Your quarterly is something that's already done, actually, doon sa annual nyo. You just have to put something na mag end ng per quarter. Hindi na siya uulit ng um, annual na repeat. Ganon. So, example, my quarterly goals. I have my quarterly shopping that should fall onto that date because that's the date na feeling ko or I, in a way, calculated it. Sana tama yung pag-calculate ko sa aking earnings that it would hit These amounts na na-canvas ko na yung mga appliances or mga gusto kong bagay sa buhay na by that time, kaya ko na siyang bilhin. So I also have this rule, guys, that if I don't need it, I like it, but I don't need it, so it's a luxury. So if you could afford it 10 times already, then you can buy it. Pag hindi mo pa shop, afford ng 10 times, huwag muna. Kasi ayaw ko nang ngungutang, guys. Ha? <laughs> if it's an expense, doesn't earn me anything. That means it's a luxury. I, I cannot utang it. It should be just an expense. Okay. If you guys do credit, do your credit wisely. Yung mga nganak siya. Yung mga nganak siya ng bongga. Or another thing is if you do credit or credit card or any utang per se, uh, something that's very urgent or something that um, would extend your money that would create more, I know, more fluidity in your cash flows. I'm sure you guys know this, uh, but I don't know if you guys are are applying it. So that's that's the beauty of credit or credit cards, extending your money, making your cash flows more fluid. And so going back to our calendar, <laughs> um, I hope that you have a sense of that. I hope that you have a sense of that. I hope that you Yon, you do your quarterly and then you do your quarterly, makikita mo na yung per month mo. And then with your per month, it gets clear. Ah, pag ano pala, month na ganito, ano ganito. Ay, monthly bill ko pala, ganito. Um, every ano, I pay, I pay, I pay Zoom monthly or if afford mo na, mag-annual pa. Um, okay. Um, and then that gets clearer every time you get granular. So, you go weekly. So, so, per week mo, makikita mo na that there are things already plotted out. Annual, quarterly, monthly. So, so week mo, you get this time blocks already that these are the times that I can put some work, something, um, something else, or I could schedule other things. And so, yun, when you schedule from annual down to weekly, you have your weekly plan, which is actually, you already did your pre-planning for the week. Or in, yung kailangan nyo nalang gawin, ano ba yung mga bagay na pwedeng magkasalise? Pwedeng may mauna, pwedeng may mahuli, and that becomes your daily. Those things that are interchangeable without actually disrupting your weekly plan. 
Sayang, bigla may dumating. Hindi ko na panood yung annual quarterly. Rema, ano yung gusto mo malaman doon? <laughs> It's fine. Um, wala naman siguro masyadong isasubarize ko sa'yo. Unahin mo lahat ng annual things na gusto mo i-schedule. Isunod mo yung quarterly, isunod mo yung monthly. As it fills up, makikita mo na yung labas dyan, meron ka ng weekly plan. Ganun lang siya. And then once you have your weekly plan, doon ka na magsastart ng daily mo. Because then the plan that you had for your week, quarter, month, up to annual, di na yan masyado magbabago eh. It's up to you now to decide using the matrix or using, you create your own matrix. If those things or those events are something of importance, something I can attend to, something I can pass, something na hindi naman kailangan ang presence ko, but knowing that it's there gives you a sense of um, structure in a way. Na, ah, meron pala akong gagawin dyan, no? Parang gusto ko mag-attend. Tapos, parang next week, parang hindi ko naman gusto mag-attend. Parang, mas may, parang gusto ko mag-attend ng workshop ni Victoria kaysa doon. Kaysa fiesta. Ganon. <laughs> ba? Diba? So, you now get to have that power to decide which ones you need to do. Which are the things that you need to let go. Hindi yung attend ako ng workshop ni Victoria, ay, shit, meron pala akong atin ng dapat na ganito, ganyan. And that becomes another stressor. And that becomes another frustrating thing in your mind na bakit ko ba nakalimutan yun? Da, 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 da. Kung nakakalendarya lang sana yon at nag-remind ng pop-up sa cellphone mo <laughs> a week before or a day before, that could, ha- that could have been. That stress, that frustration, hindi sana yun nangyari. That would have been something na, you know, another less problem to to have been, to to have to have risen. Like na preempt, meron ka sana ng preemptive measures for that stress or for that thing. You did that. So there. So that's, that's, that's how you do your calendar properly. What are the things that you put into your calendar, guys? Alam nyo ba? So, from that, ha, dapat alam nyo na ano ba nilalagay sa kalendar yun, no? Tapos, ano ba yung chat nyo? Ano ba yung dapat sa to-do list nyo? Ano yung dapat na nasa to-do list? Tapos, ano yung dapat na nasa kalendar yun? You guys could chat. Thank you so much. Mm, yearly meron ako Starbucks calendar <laughs> yes to that Marian meron din akong ganyan who's this I cannot see your name, Divina Christine. I can't see your name. Please, please message me on on uh, Facebook, Divina. Either either profile. Calendar is target com- target accomplishments. Yes, yes to that. To do a specific calendar, big picture calendar, or deadline. Yes, also. Um, let me pull up a file here. Ito guys, binayaran ko to guys ng alam niyo ba? <laughs> the $85 per month sila. Pero wait, hanapin ko. Life hack. Let me find it. <laughs> so that I can share it with you guys. Sige, go lang. Calendar, due date of bills, events, then the to-do lists or the tasks. Yes. Other than siyang ganon. All right. Here is... All right. So, did you find something na parang common when I do when I did or like shared with you guys what I did with my annual? All my annual things or the stuff that I did for, for my calendar are all good things. Walang stress, 
walang to do that I need to do things. Except siguro sa pay bills, stress talaga siya, guys. Hindi ko. Pwede wala na lang bills. I mean, <laughs> but all the rest were like birthdays, events, I mean, death anniversary is not something good, but in a way, it could be something good. It depends sa uh, perception niya. Because for me, that's something good because the family gets together with death anniversaries. We get together, um, the cousins are there and everyone's there. So that's like um, small reunions and whatnot. And, but for others, death anniversaries are so, are so um, sad because of probably what happened. But most of the time, the things that I put in my annual, my quarterly, my weekly, those are things that are happy or putting the good stuff first. Um, putting everything that's really good, that makes me happy and things that I want to do, want to be in, be present with, so that yun yung nauuna sa buhay ko. Except sa bills. Pero kailangan sila ilagay sa kalendaryo ko. You know, kailangan. <laughs> kailangan. But all the, re- all the rest, those are good stuff. Good things. Really good things that you need to put. So that you can, kasi ano ako, um, um, advocate ako ng build, build your work around your life. So insert ko to. Ah. Um, your life comes first, hence the annual that all the things, personal life events, comes first. And then if you have work, say example, as a freelancer, a corporate, whatever, kung ano man trabaho mo, you go around it. The work goes around the life events that's already been in your calendar. So you see this in movies, or I don't know, even right now with the people that you work with, they'd actually tell you, let me check my calendar first. You want to have a meeting with me? Let me check my calendar first. Okay? And then people would say, ah, kailangan na magpa-appointment pag si Victoria. Nope. That's just me protecting my inner peace. Meaning, I don't want anything disrupted that's already planned or already in the calendar that in my head that was actually something I really liked to do. That was just me putting my boundary, making sure that I'm happy first before I talk to you. What if I said yes to you but then I look at my calendar, I got so frustrated kasi na double book ka ng someone else. And then I talk to you. And then, wala, magmamadali ako kasi habulin ko yung isang meeting. Which is, diba, pangit. So I don't like that. <laughs> Unless that's like, uh, um, paid, 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 um, paid meeting with me or, or scheduled meeting that there's already a time frame and there's another person that I need to talk to on the next hour. Parang ganun. So that's a different thing. But people that would tell you, ay, kailan ka magpa-appointment pag... Those people I tend to avoid because they do not know how to respect my time. They do not know how to respect that I have my own life. That I actually have something planned for my life. So even my sisters, everyone in my family, please, except siguro sa lola ko kasi wala talagang pipigil doon kung pupunta siya dito, saka ako magagawa. But yeah, <laughs> iba pag matatanda. Hindi <laughs> ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya ilagay, i- i- ganito na, please, please call me first before you come para makapaghanda naman ako. Wala. Mer- merong mga taong exceptions, mga VVVIP. So yun siya. So putting the good stuff first and then you allocate time for them. So you did the calendar, you know what days, and then you now decide how much time you allocate for each event, for each thing. Is it a whole day event? Do you think you're just going to have dinner with them, lunch with them? Is it going to be an hour meeting, two hours? Good things to push us to work smarter and to balance our life. Like, yes. Um, I think this is your 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 business name. With, with heart. Or is that really your name, Cassie? Um, so there. Um, next one is scheduling na your, yun, di ba, tapos na tayo dun hanggang weekly, scheduling your daily. So your daily, you have things to put in your calendar like meetings and whatnot. And then your to-do list or tasks, those are the things that gets to your to-do. Or if you have a project management tool, I love Asana and Notion. I also use ClickUp, Trello, whatever. But favorite to yung Asana, guys. Guys, if Anyone here use already a project management tool? Let me know which one's your favorite. Cut lang kayo, tapos dalala ko. And so, 
step one, that was putting all the good stuff. Step two, that was in your calendar. Step, step two is doing your to-do list, which is you get to have two things, your deep work and then your light work. So I mentioned ko kanina. So I have deep work. Those are things that I feel like I still need to start. I still need to learn about it. I still need to research more about it. Those are my deep work. Oh, Calendarly. That's new to me. Search ko nga yan, Calendarly. Or baka nadaanan ko na. Tos. Calendarly, your content calendar in the cloud. Is that it? Send me a link for Calendarly. Trello and Carbon HQ. Yes, I did that already. Um, there. So now is... After your weekly, so you put in your good stuff, next is your to-do list. Your to-do list under that is your deep work and then your light work. And the next is your um, making sure that you have this UUW. So I'm CVW, Clarity with um, CWV, but <laughs> Clarity with Victoria. And I also have this UUW. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to this UUW. This is from... I forgot which. I'm bad at names, guys. But I, I, I was enrolled in a program na foreign coach. We had this UUW, and I'm going to share this to you. This stands for unplanned, unwanted, uh, unplanned work, and unwanted work. So unplanned, unwanted work. Ganun to siya, guys. ta -da! Let me put this. Let me put this here. Let me put this in the chat. So UUW stands for unplanned and wanted work. So it's work that will hit your plate, but you don't know yet what it is. So I'm just placing a placeholder, like an allowance, kumbaga, that they're anticipating that there might be something on that day, on, on that hour, or like putting an allowance. All right? So, um, <clears throat> nasa na ako. So there, so it's a placeholder. Say example, you have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. People that had already a one-on-one -on -one session with me, um, Alexandra, uh, Calendly.com. Calendly is a calendar tool. Um, I don't know, does that offer also a project management? I think that's just purely calendar, no Calendly. Going back to you, UW, these are um, unplanned and wanted work, meaning you you give yourself allowance for other things that will happen. Kasi sab sabi ko sa inyo, hindi naman tayo robot na kailangan talaga kung ano yun nandun, yun na, din, yun na din yun. And if there's something that comes up na hindi, hindi ko imumove ang anything kasi sabi ni Victoria, dapat ganito, ganyan. Hindi naman ganun, guys. We, we can put allowances like flexibility with our system, with our calendars and our to-do list. And that way, you also have time to rest. You have uh, space. Uh, calendar nyo for, for other things that may, might come or like baka bigla may tumating na bisita and I want to entertain them and there are things that I can still move around right and there there might be something na nag brown out and what not uh, hindi siya scheduled and so it's okay because I have other time na bakante that I could move things around and that makes me happy kasi di siya mag, makaka disrupt ng ibang tasks because I've actually given some allowance for other things. Now, other people would tell me, paano kami magbibigay ng allowance? Ay, kulang na nga yung oras namin sa isang araw. Paano pa mag-allowance mag pa? Guys, alright, I, I, I'm gonna give you a trick later on on how to do that. And um, if Anna, Annalisa is still here, she implemented it right away after a one-on-one -on -one call, and you guys know what happened. She shared this, I think, Saan mo si Shinerion, um, Anna, Annalisa? Sa page mo ba yan? Sa, sa profile mo? She actually found out that she was working more so full-time niya than how she should be. And I, I asked her, are you happy with your rate? Sabi niya, oh, okay naman. But if you actually track kahit fixed kayo, example, it's for people that has fixed rates here, um, still track yourself early or track yourself per task for your internal process or your internal system or just for you to know how much time you're actually giving to this client or for this task. That way, pag kinonvert mo siya, 
into Arlie, you would actually say, ay, ang baba pala ng Arlie. Wait ko dito kapag nag-Arlie ako. So, it's either your decision is gonna be leave the company or ask for a raise. She asked for a raise, she got it, and so she's staying. Ganun siya ka simply, guys. If, if you can also prove it to your clients that, hey, actually, parang more than 40 hours na pala ako dito sa kumpanya nagtatrabaho, ganito ganyan, it's because the tasks are so many. It's either you hire another person, um, half kami, or you increase my pay. Ganyan. So, I, I, I do that usually. Pero ako, Kaya ko nang increase ng pay. Hire na lang tayo ibang tao. Kaya ko nang stress. Kaya ko nang stress. Ganun siya. So, even if you're on a fixed rate, you time yourself. And then, even if you're timing yourself for the hourly billable rates, you still have your internal timers, making sure na tasks lang. Um, there are other clients that would say na, hey, isalin niyo yung comms, isalin niyo yung um, other things na hindi per task. Ako, I really time myself per task. The reason why, I want to give them time frames. They give me a task, I can totally and confidently say, say or tell them, hey, I have other tasks, so I already know how much time I need to put into the other tasks. And so, sisimulan ko yung bagong task sa'yo by Saturday or by Sunday, and then I can give it to you by Monday, 12 noon, Eastern time. So I can give them specific time frames, which... The clients are so happy because they know what when to expect it. And they're not, and, and note this, huh? they're not the ones giving me the deadline. I'm giving myself the deadline. Kasi ako yung magtatrabaho nito. And I let them know that I have other clients. So how I do that, um, later on. <laughs> okay, so ano pa ba? Meron pa ba ako nakalimutan? Calendar, to-do list. Oh, the champagne moment. Guys, anyone here familiar with what the champagne moment is? You can Google it. It's not very much um discussed yet. It's a world. <laughs> champagne moments. If anyone can share, you can unmute. Or top of your mind, ano ba yung champagne moment mo? Except sa ng TBS eh, ah. Kaya sumali. Kaya ano yung iba? <laughs> happy hour. Happy hour. Yes, happy hour. But that's not a moment. It's just an hour. <laughs> celebration. Yes, Tita Molu, a celebration. Yes to that. To celebrate that. Hi, Cherry. I miss you. My dogs miss you, Cherry. <laughs> My asa ko kapangalan ni Cherry. <laughs> Me time. Yes. What else? Anything else? Da -da -da -da. Okay. Deserving of extra attention. Could. That could be something. All right. This is something. Ito ha, tinanong sa akin ng TBS people. If I'm gonna share here something that was not shared to them. So I did share a lot already that was not shared there. Kasi nga sabi ko, ang boring ko pa ulit-ulit yung sinasabi ko. Ako din, mabuboard ako sa sarili ko. Kaya kailan may changes. May changes. Except sa mga parang key essential things that I need to really mention. So, champagne moment. Guys, actually, and people are messaging me to create a group. Miss Yan, yan patulong naman. Paano pa ba group? Hindi <laughs> ako marunong sa Facebook group. Guys, um, community man. Mm -hmm. Community manager niyo pala ako sa accounting people since it started. Tapos we are 7,000 strong. Hindi niyo lang alam. Hindi kasi ako ako. Uh, <laughs> di ako ano hindi ako ma-post sa accounting people pero guys ako yung taga-accept sa inyo pag mga madaling araw <laughs> madaling araw Kaya ako yun nagtatanong kami sino nag-accept na minsan minahalo mga ibang lahi tapos nagpo-post sabi ko pakiban yung mga yan pakiban ano ah <laughs> uh -uh. tinatanggal na na, na nasi-filter na naman yung Eva mostly yung mga Pinoy pero yeah there are others na ganun um nagkamali in flight Walang ano eh, hindi nakikisali. Char. Pero ayun, sorry Miss Yayan. Pero yun, guys, people are asking me um to create a group which hindi ko alam paano ko siya, I mean, paano, alam ko naman paano siya mag-create ng group, pero you know, how to make it alive, how to make the people excited. I mean, Miss Yayan here posts like every day and then a story and what not. Guys, pwede ako magdalda ng 8 hours sa inyo, pero yung isang post ko guys, parang 1 or 2 hours akong nag- 
gagawa ng caption. <laughs> Ganun nga ako ka-stress pagka-caption, guys, or mga picture dyan. Nag-hire na ako ng SMM ko, guys, and content, hashtag bang, ganun. So, I think that's getting better now. Pero hindi sila gumagawa ng content, just the 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 instructions that I need to follow. Kasi yung utak ko, step by step yung alam. Yun yung parang paano siya gumagana. Anyway, going back to champagne moment. The champagne moment is something that you create for yourself, something you experience, something that you describe yourself. So what is your champagne moment? A champagne moment is anything that makes you happy, anything that makes you celebrate, like open, like sa America kasi uso yan, if there's something to celebrate, they pop um, a champagne bottle. So that's why it's a champagne moment. Pwede tayong gumawa ng sarili natin. Anong gusto nyo? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung, ano, binubuksan natin dito pag may celebration, lechon moment ato tayo dito. <laughs> Hindi champagne moment. Pero that's the champagne moment, guys. So champagne moment is actually um, for small businesses and even big CEOs. Medyo hindi siya ganun kasi pag ginugol niya siya, minsan lalabas yung, um, hala, wait lang. Hello? Miss Yang Yan, salita ka nga. Feeling ko nag-globe. Yes po, I'm here. Ay, okay, nandiyan ko. Um, red horse. <laughs> yes, Dina, red horse. <laughs> red horse moment na lang daw. Anyway, pwede naman. Tingay version tayo. So, ano nangyayari? You can actually pre-plan or plan your champagne moment. But there are champagne moments in our lives that we have taken for granted. Say, example me, I have taken for granted just I have taken for granted that I needed actually to celebrate the first day that I got my first client. Did you guys, do you guys know what date you got your first freelancing client? I didn't. Pero ngayon alam ko. <laughs> so I'm, I will be celebrating it next year. Kasi hindi ko pala yun natitik for, hindi naman kailan bongga and grande ah. Oo. Uh-uh. Diba? And we actually have, sinabi ko sa sarili ko, I actually have to reach out to these people and say thank you kahit wala na ako sa kanila. Diba? Like, they gave me that breakthrough, that chance to put my um one foot forward before ako tuluyang pumasok because there's just this very something, ha, sa isang kliyente. Yung tamang kliyente naman. Hindi yung parang <laughs> yung na-ghost car. Well, you find that first client that you want to be happier to celebrate with or a client that you actually want to celebrate kahit internal celebration lang ganun diba like when when I heard about the champagne moment when I learned about it sabi ko ay shit ang dami ko palang champagne moments that I did not even celebrate not even a thank you to myself kasi nakakalimutan natin mag thank you sa sarili natin dami natin ginawa sa buhay natin lahat lahat ano we say thank you to 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 um, to, to the Lord, we say thank you to our partners for supporting us, we say thank you to sino pa gusto natin and thank you <laughs> and what not. Pero nakakalimutan natin eh, thank you yung sarili natin. And it's so sad. And I want you guys to have that. Um, It's part of being productive. Huh? You say thank you to yourself, it boosts you up, it makes you want to do more and thank yourself more and that makes your brain Kasi yung utak talaga natin. Gusto niya incentive, gusto niya pleasures, gusto niya ano, you know, yung parang you butter it up. So why not butter yourself up, right? Why not make yourself feel good? Like, kahit ako, guys, ano, chucky, pico, yan yung mga happiness ko. Kasi medyo mahirap yung buhay noon. Hindi <laughs> afford. Ngayon, kay, kaya ko na mag-chucky, hindi na ako mauubos. Mag-chucky na ako everyday. Noon, hindi siya kaya. So, ganun siya. So, those things are taken for granted. Ramen and t- takoyaki time. Naman kami ni YT. Oh! I love takoyaki. Hindi ko masyado bet si ramen. Hindi ko nauubos. Yun ko ang heavy. Ang heavy sa, <laughs> ang heavy sa chan. Um, so, there. The champagne moments. These might be small things for others, but these are big things for you. And there are times that we actually don't want to share it. Dahil feeling mo, ang liit lang naman, kailan ko ba yung share sa, sa ibang tao? Not necessarily you have to share it, but you have to celebrate it yourself. Kahit sarili mo lang, or kahit kayo lang ang aso mo, kayo lang ang husband mo, or partner mo, or kahit, yun nga, kahit sarili mo lang, you celebrate yourself. 
Because if you do not celebrate yourself, you do not appreciate yourself. Feeling you by appreciate ng kanya ibang tao. For sure, there would be other people that would appreciate you, but would that be really fulfilling? Diba? Kaysa sa inappreciate mo yung sarili mo. Na, um, yes, deserve ko, i-appreciate yung sarili ko. Iwasan natin yung yes, deserve ko mag-melty today. Yes, deserve ko bumili ng bagong whatnot today. Um, that's not, you're fulfilling materialistic things. Um, parang feeling mo, gini-gift mo sarili mo, but, you know, these words of affirmation are really powerful. Ako noon, sobrang cringe ako dyan, pero ang OA naman ang coach na to, nag-words of affirmation, positive-positive words lang naman. <laughs> Tapos ako yung sobrang mega, and then these things are actually something na sobrang cringe ako before, coming from a person na hindi ako, hindi ako ganun ka, ano ha, parang, with, with my sisters, I don't do this, like, oh, I love you, oh, I miss you, I'm not like that at all. And I'm not like that to self ko. And I don't say thank you so much sa sarili ko, but I always look up to other people. I say thank you to other people but not myself. But when I realized that I was not doing that, to na ko parang, ang unfair ko pala sa sarili ko. Parang bakit hindi, ako yung nagpagod, ako yung everything kumawa lahat. Pero bakit wala naman lang thank you. So, that's the reason I created, um, in a way, Tinkervik. So, Tinkervik is kind of an alter ego. She's still me, but I kind of need something to separate my business sa sarili ko. This is something I will touch now for productivity. These are things that you can do to yourself, but you're not doing sa sarili mo. Because you feel like, ako lang naman, it's fine. Uunahin ko muna yung kliyente ko kasi doon magkakapera ako. Uunahin ko muna yung asawa ko because he needs me. This is my duty and responsibility. Uunahin ko muna yung anak ko kasi responsibility ko siya and blah, 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 blah. All the things. You always um, put yourself last and put others first. Going back, dapat inauna mo yung sarili mo. Sa tamang paraan naman, guys, ha? hindi yung selfish na ano hindi tama. Merong ganun. May bad side din yung selfishness. But if you become selfish for good reasons, you become better as a person, you become better at what you do, you become faster at things you need to do, and then you will actually have more time for yourself, and then you will have more time for other people. So, ganun siya. How creating a system that works for you gives you more time, gives you more time with yourself and for other people. And then after that, it's a family mood, then you can also extend it outside of your family then. Not meaning financially, it could be. Um, it could also be just time. Hindi pala just time. Time is, <laughs> time is yung pinaka, ano, pinaka um, premium of all resources. All right? So this is what I'm going to leave you guys. Treat yourself as a client. Treat yourself as the most premium client. This is a one-on-one call with Annalisa because she feels like she's always putting, ako din, sa sarili ko, I'm always putting myself last. I always have to put my clients first because I need to earn money. But then if I get burnt out, I stop all work, which is zero money, which means walang shopping, walang quarterly goals, walang laro. Victoria, wala internet, wala aircon, di ba? So everything falls down and I'm not happy. How about balik tarin? You make yourself happy. You make yourself um, better at things. And then, makikita yan, magre-resonate yan, lalabas yan sa inyo. And then your clients would actually see it. And then, they would see how organized you are. They would see how positive you are. And then, imagine ninyo, sobrang busy na mga kliyente nyo, sobrang busy yung mga prospect nyo. Tapos kayo din, parang feeling nyo busy-busy din kayo. So, parang mapapasa yung energy sa kanila. And they would feel that. I don't know with other clients, but my clients would feel it if I'm stressed. Sasabihin nila, Victoria, you're not your usual you right uh, today. Tago, oh, I'm sorry, I'm feeling down today. Um, Is it okay if... I know the tasks are okay na. Uh, hindi ko going agad. Are you okay with me taking the day off? Or like, I don't want to work any tasks today. Can I do it Monday? Are you okay with that? So, ganyan. So, I, I, can, I can literally just... Can I show you a screenshot? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, let me see. Um, lalabas pa yung pangalan nila pag-share ko. Ikaw 
Um, hindi naman siguro. Okay. Oops. Hindi ko alam pa na siya Si screenshot ka na lang. Do, 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 do. Ay, sige lang. Tingnan niya na lang yung name. Tingnan niya na lang. <laughs> Tatabunan ko na lang siya. Ang ano ko, ang, ang tamad ko talaga guys sa mga bagay nito. But, here we go. Here we go. We're just gonna do it like this. You're gonna see his name, but not all the other conversations. But I'm gonna share this anyway. Here's a champagne moment. This one is a champagne moment for me, guys. Huh? Look at that. He sent something on Thursday. He sent something, a Loom video. So I'm not a fan of a lot of meetings. So I always tell my clients, if you could do it, the instructions on a document or on a Loom video, if you need to share or instruct, give me something, do that. That would save us like hours of time that would save you not creating an invite in the calendar that would save me creating time that i make sure that you're awake and that i'm awake so how about you just create like a five ten minute video let me know what you want me to do let me know how it's done or how you want it done or what you need me to do and then send me the document i'll look at it i'll, I'll check on it and i'll i'll i'll, I'll see and if I have questions, I'll, I'll give you an email. I'll send you an email or I'll chat chat na lang ako sayo, ganyan. So that was sent Thursday. So again, I told you guys, I did not work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> so on, on, on Friday, around 4 p.m., ako nagising for yesterday. Um, so I just told him, hey, I just woke up. So I just watched the video, so phone ko. And then, see, they don't ask, they don't tell me a deadline they don't put a deadline on it they would ask me how's your schedule nowadays ganun, ganun sila magtanong sa akin guys how's your schedule nowadays because they know that i have other clients i'm serving they know that i have tasks and they know how i work because i've already like told them everything is onboarding if if i have meron ako mga na prospect that they will just want me full time Okay, are you um okay with providing all for my expenses? Uh, at the moment, my weight would be around five thousand dollars up. If you want me full time, forty hours a week for you, and you can on call me on the weekend. No one would pay me that, so I'd rather have not you as a client, and I'd rather have these clients, kahit ten or fifteen dollars per hour lang sila. Because, just because. Unless, bigyan nila akong ganong kalaking pera, why not? Idadrap ko yung ibang kliyente, di ba? <laughs> Chill lang. So, there's still that balance. Kailangan ko pa din ng pera, guys. So, ganun siya. So, if you can see, setting up your system, making sure that everyone's on the same page, you could actually do this. And make them ask you, or make him ask me, kailan ako available for this task? Or, how's my schedule? And, if you can see there, I'm the one who set my schedule up. So I did not work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I think sa sarili ko, sa utak ko, pwede ka naman siguro magtrabaho ng Sabado at Linggo Today Girl kasi di ka naman nagtrabaho nung ano. Pero actually guys, di pa din ako. Di pa din ako nag-work kanina. Nag-laro lang and nag-one-on-one -on -one session. Pero, tinignan ko na yung task niya. I could actually just do it in two hours. It's just a very quick it's just a very quick system, um, organizing and tweaking some things para sa ibang BAs. Niya. And um, most of the time, they give me tasks that they needed fast and they did it efficient. And so, alam ko, pag pinigay sa akin, ako lang yung BA na pwedeng gumawa niya. So, I'm still a virtual assistant. I don't really tell them my titles and whatnot. They don't get it. I don't want explaining myself. I just do the tasks. I do it properly. And then they pay me. And then that's it. And so, and I also set my own schedule or like I also set my own deadline. So if you can see, I always give them options also. Like these are the things, it could be ready for you, but if you need it earlier, let me know. I could move things around. Wala naman talaga ako, i-move na things around kasi, guys. Tapos na lahat ng trabaho ko actually doon to see our Wednesday. But there are things that I need to do next week that I could have done today or this week, pero wala. 
hindi ko bet gawin. Diba? So, I have this downtime also that I just want to play. I just want to talk to people. I just want to be on a webinar or I just want to research or just binge watch on a K-drama, Netflix, whatnot. And so, ganyan. So, if you had your calendar up, like like I had, 10 plus clients plus a workshop launching plus free webinars plus I have two or three to four one-on-one sessions every Saturday and I think Sunday and meron na ding weekdays today and everything can fit in it and I can still enjoy the things in life in life you could do that too I mean if I if I could do that you could do that too and um, streamline your systems both in work and at home makes it easier to work or or to balance everything. Kasi pag na may system ka sa trabaho mo, so wala kang system sa bahay mo, wala pa din mangyayari doon. Because it's actually a continuous, it's, it's connected. Hindi yan separate, guys. Both are connected. It's it's you as a person, di naman pwedeng hatiin ka, tapos isa lang sa work, tapos isa lang dun sa, 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 sa bahay. You have to make sure that it's all connected. And you know, um, it's all connected and you make it cohesive. Yung dalawang system mo. It might be different a little bit, but it must be cohesive and, you know, complementary to each other. So, ganun siya. So, all right. I guess that's it for me. Um, Any questions? Questions, I questions. Question. Like notes pa kayo. Ang dami kong notes. Ito ako minsan nag-notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh nga <laughs> take aways nyo para akong sinampal alam mo yung para akong sinasalamin kanina nag one on one ka na sa akin sinampal De, ako din sabi kong ano ulit nag reflect sa akin ulit gusto mo ba isa-isa yung apat na nga sulat ko para maintindihan nila bakit ako ganito si, mm-hmm. andito si Vita diba so, ah. last year pa kami nag nag webinar baka maiyak ako eh bila ko na reflect yung sarili ko hindi kasi diba sabi nyo nga bakit something yourself kasi sabi ko nga Pwede naman ako manahimik sa isang tabi. Pero may something sa akin na may hinahanap. Yun yung magpapasaya kahit gusto ko weekends. Yung weekends sa akin, dun ko nandun yung energy ko for the whole week. So yung whole week ko next week, mataas ang energy ko kasi nagawa ko yung gusto ko. So kung next week makapag-kliente ulit ako, magre-reflect talaga sa kliente yung kasi masaya kayo within weekends. So ganun siya siguro. Yun yung in-explain ni Victoria. Now I get it. Yeah. Yan. And so then, if you get to rest and you get to reset, di ba? Because if you're always, hindi <laughs> naman siya ganun eh. May, may mga bagay na hindi nakukuha sa tulog. May mga pahinga na hindi tulog kain. lang. Hindi kain lang. Oh, yeah. Ang dami kong natutunan. Yan, yung sinabi ni Victoria, <laughs> yung consistent, di ba lagi kong inuulit sa inyo guys, consistency, kasi kahit talented kayo, kung di kayo consistent sa mga ginagawa, wala din. Iba ang maag- diba may maagap sa masika. Parang ganon. Yes. Diba? Iba kasi yon Kaya nga lagi tayo nagpapa-free webinar. Kasi kapag hindi sa inyo pinaalala yung gagawin nyo, yung iba dyan magsastop. Magmumukmuk. Sure. Bakit kayo wala kang frog? Wala kasi yung kumakalabit sa kanila na, hey, hindi ah, meron tayong gagawin. Marami pa tayong gagawin. Hindi tayo yes. magpapukul ng gagawin. So kapag walang mag-i-initiate, kaya natuwa rin ako dun sa tribe bookkeeper, si Sir Jonathan. Andito ba si Penn? Mm-hmm. So, yung mga taong nag-take initiative, siguro yun din yung inner inner purpose. Sabi nga nila, inner purpose namin. So, yun. And then, work smart. Sinunod ko dito, learning prior to being smart. Yan, sinunod ko. Yes. Tapos, ano po ba dito? <laughs> apply. Lahat ng naaral, naaral niya, apply niyo yan. And nagustuhan ko yung gagayahin. Yung tinuturo ko, gayahin nyo ng gayahin. Di ba, pinamibigay yes. ko nga kung ano lahat ng meron. Kasi, Darating din sa point na gagawa rin kayo ng sarili yung sistema na makikilala yes. kayo sa paggawa nyo ng ganun. So, build your own mm. portfolio. So, yun pala yun. Diba? Ang dami ko na sulat. And then... Yes! Ayan, sa group, <laughs> ayan, sa group support yan. Tsaka yung benchmarking, tama yun. Gusto ko yung benchmarking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yun na din ako doon. So, hindi ko na nasulat. And last na lang, Ayan, yung champagne moment yun na pala yun, nauna ko na. So, ano yung na-takeaways nyo guys? Ako ang dami. Sana may nakuha kayo. Maging consistent. Di makapag-focus pag may corporate job. Triage sa akin. Aww. Yes, triage. Pag life and death yung triage, Jomar. Isipin mo, nasa gyera ka. Ano ba yung uunahin mo? Sino ba yung unang, kung yung mamamatay na, 
tapos wala ka na talaga magagawa, wag na. Pero kung kaya mo pang isave, go on a board. Calendar and to-do list by Sheila. Okay. Sige guys, button nyo at meron akong ano sa inyo, gift. <laughs> Gusto nyo. Na-add na ba kanyo gift. si Tinkerbell sa FB? Sinan ko yung link niya ha? Para add, 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 niyo. add niyo lang or like. Uh, online ako both ha sa page. Pero guys, kung magme-message talaga kayo ha, ito lang masasabi ko. Mas at kayo din ha, I hope you practice this. May ginawa akong 12-minute live video dito. Um, Facebook page is very good for you if you're running at this. Sasabihin ng iba, other people would like to add you or would like... Pero yung ad kasi, 5,000 lang guys yung friends din. Mas mahirap yung message request na nakikita. Ito yung advice ko ha, magninegosyo naman lang din kayo, magpreelance naman lang kayo. Kahit walang likes yun guys, okay lang yan. Pero i-redirect niyo sa page niyo. Bakit? Kasi sa page, pakita ko na lang sa 5 minutes to. Sa page, sa, sa messenger guys, pag nag-message kayo, tapos natabunan kayo, like katulad ngayon, it would take me like 5 minutes to like, scrack, sa dadami niyo nag-message sa akin. Pag nag-message kayo sa profile, yung nag a friend pa, pag, pag nag, nag-bold yan, or like unread ka pa, hindi ka pa nabasa, pag may, pag may dumating na bago, Matatabunan ka na sa pinakababakan, hindi ka na, hindi na kita ma-replyan. Miss yan, yan, alam na alam yan. <laughs> Unless oh, may kailangan yeah. sa, sa akin or may kailangan ako sa inyo, isa-search ko kayo, doon ka pala makikita. Ay, may message ka pala. Or, baka nag-pop open lang, tas na-read, tas feeling nyo nag-snub na. So, hindi guys, di lang talaga kayo napapansin kasi nandun na kayo sa pinakababa. Pag-pag sa, pag sa, pag sa Facebook page kayo, guys, papakita ko sa'yo yung Facebook page ko. Page, 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 page. <clears throat> page ko, guys. If nasa Facebook page ko kayo, I'll share with you. Guilty ako doon kasi dami nagme-message sa akin. Ang madalas na re-reply ako yung unang pag yes. ko yung mga nasa unahan lang. Yes. Okay, guys. Nakikita niyo ba ang aking screen na Facebook? Meta. Facebook ba yung na-share ko? Tama ba? Hello? <clears throat> Saka ka nilang muna po today. Yes, pa. Tama po dal-dal. Share screen. Tama ba yung na-share ko? Facebook. Okay, Facebook. Dito guys sa inbox, guys, search nyo din inbox zero. Zero as in number zero. I do that with emails. And I offer that to clients, inbox zero management or inbox zero method. And I charge them $300 to $500 just doing email. Guys, you're doing reconciliation, which is mas masakit sa ulo. <laughs> Pero parang minsan, parang gano'n na din, nagre-reconcile ng emails, ng label, what not, proper categorization. But guys, ito siya nangyayari. Ito, tinanggal ko sila sa done ha. Pero yung nakaganda dito, if I'm done with you, hindi naman done na done with you. I'm done replying with you. I-check ko kayo. And then I could also like label you kung ano yung pinag-usapan natin. Are you important? Um, I could also put notes here kung ano yung last pinag-usapan natin. That will be, I, I would be reminded. Hindi naman ako as in supercomputer guys na matatandaan ko kayo lahat. To be honest. Um, but if you have your own business too, I would rather have you do this para if the clients come in, may inbound kayo. And it's easier than email sometimes because most of the people naman din nag-Facebook na din. Or if you have WhatsApp as well, WhatsApp has a star feature. Hindi ko alam kung al- alam nyo yan. You can actually do that. Parang bookmark siya. So, sobrang um, happy ng mga clients ko nung tinuruan ko sila ng star feature sa WhatsApp. Explore nyo yan. So, going back to Messenger, this one. Kasi dito, makikita ko na dito lahat. So, magre-red yan dyan. Try nyo, mag-message kayo dyan. May, may magre-red dyan, tas number. So, alam ko lahat kung saan kayo. Nag-comment kayo sa Instagram, Facebook. I don't need to go to the apps individually. I just check this. Like an email. I check it in the morning. I check it in the evening. Sometimes I check it sa phone. There's a business meta, ang tawag dun, um, app. Doon din. So, people would tell me hindi ako nagre-reply. Ayan o, thank you coach. Wait lang, refresh natin para lumabas yung red thing. Yan, lalabas siya dyan, guys. Lalabas siya dyan, so may one. 
and then hi so example i said i said hi i i would label you or assign you if i have other um ako lang din lahat <laughs> yung admin dito i i could i could example if it's a sales or something you bought something from me which is yung sales natin guys if you buy something from me go to vic and love socials ayoko maghandle ng sales my team ako diyan so sila bahala doon ayoko nang ayoko maghandle ng pera at mga documents sa kanila yon magulo kasi yan guys <laughs> then so i could also like um put a label here and i could add kung ano man yung label ko like Um, this is accounting people. It's like I, I met you at accounting people, so I, I will have that label, and that will actually remind me there's you from accounting people. So there. So if I'm done with that, um, check check ko kayo, check ko kayo ng lahat. Nadyo may bugs lang minsan. Pero yan. And then pag may bagong pumasok, I would only see that, and I would not miss any messages. So you guys, if if you message me on my page, I would see that for sure. Pag sa aking inbox, <laughs> medyo hindi. Kasi Parang hindi ako dyan. Ang sabog-sabog. Maraming. Ulagay ko sila sa med- pages pala. Yeah, doon kayo mag-message. Okay. Yes. Kasi dyan, marami. Oh, so Tignan nyo naglo-loading, guys. Kasi, oh, diba? Meron pa mga kanyutok. Marami pa yan sa baba na mga hindi pa na-replyan, guys. So, I'm so sorry if Jen kayo nagme-message. If you really want my attention, go to the page. Kasi doon, makikita ko agad. Dito, pag sinipag ako, isuscroll ba ko lahat? <laughs> or like, or like pwede niyo akong siguro i-ring. I-ring na lang. Ring my, my ano, para sure na lumabas kayo sa notice. Kasi minsan yung pop-up, biglang mag-open, so na-read yung message. Tapos, ano, minsan sasabihin, ah, let's not see Victoria, guys, sorry. Dami nyo na lang talaga. Pero kung gusto niya talaga, attention ko. Um, sa page ko naman, guys, dyan, or actually, dun sa, dun sa Facebook profile ko, titingnan nyo dun, yung nakapin sa akin, sinabi ka talaga dyan na, if you need to send me a message, it's best to message me sa Facebook pages or my WhatsApp is actually there. You can also pop there there yan lang and you guys one 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 last thing <laughs> if you want na may director kayo oy miss yan yan baka hindi ka para sa iyo to or sa inyong lahat <laughs> kasi ano si miss yan yan mahilig yan magtag ng groups niya linkedin niya lahat ng links niya no? so gawa ng ganito beacon page free lang para yung oo oh, 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 yung sinabi yung ginawa uh, ko pala nandoon na lahat isang link lang nandoon na uh, lahat uh, isang link yan lahat so So, pag nag-type ka, pwede ka na lang siya i-type. Di ka na magka-copy-paste. Deacons.ai slash Tinkerbake. Oh, 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 so, oh, oh. pwede kang gumawa. Yeah, miss yan yan or coach yan. Yan. And then, these are here, everything. So, ito are clickable. So, if you click this, that will directly bring you to your email. Yan. Diretsyo siya sa Outlook. Hindi na mahihirapan. Pati kliyente niyo, pwede, pwede ka din gumawa ng specific for the clients. Specific for local. I have I have another Deacons for, for foreign. Um, this is beacons.ai. And then you could also use Linktree. Marami siya ganyan. Try nyo lang mga directory pages or directory websites. Yun lang. So there's your champagne. Oh, there's another champagne moment for you guys. If you create this, you're planning another champagne moment. If you, ah, mabilis lang to, drag and drop lang to guys. Tinan lang sa YouTube. Hindi din ako marunong nito, guys. So, <laughs> ano lang ako dito. Nagpaturo lang ako ng mga pinigisan. And there, and pwede nyo din actually i-manage yung Chrome profiles nyo. My gosh, dami ko na ituturo dito. Um, Chrome profiles nyo, pwede nyo siya i-manage like this. And this one. So, di ba? Ang dami. Hindi namin nakikita. Ako lang ba? Ah, oh my God! Bakit ba? Oo, Hindi ko walang sasalita. Eh. Walang maglaas ng lobby. Hindi nila nakikita. Oh my goodness! Uy, sabihin niyo sa akin. Bitcoin ano. ulit. Ayun, pero naka, nakagawa na akong account. Yan. Ito, Chrome Management. You can do this. This will be part of the workshop on how to properly uh, manage your Chrome or 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 Outlook or ano ba, Edge. Um, no matter what you have. So, para pareho lang yan. How to manage your bookmarks properly. What are the things that you need to put there? What are the things that you need to put in a folder? Para mabilis. And then um, the beacons page. So, sample this one. Eh, tingnan nyo to. 
I have everything there, just one click if I need it. Boom. There. Diba? Hindi ko na kailan mag-type, mag-search, nasan ba yun, anong link ba yun, what. So, there. So, guys, lastly, huh, before mag-5.30, I'll share with you what I shared with Miss Yanyan. Um, pwede niya tong, so yung Tinkervix sa akin niya. Pero pag sales page, guys, paano ba ako mabalik sa chat? Tada! Here. Ito yung sales naman, guys. We can love, kung nag, nalilito kayo kung sino si Vic and Love, Vic and Love is a partnership. So si Love is the one that's creative, all the graphics and stuff. Um, there are other graphics sa Clarity that um, Amenti, yung parang case study ko siya, guys. Ito ha, so sabihin ko na lang sa inyo. Yung workshop ko, I already did a case study. Um, very extensive case study. Um, from beginner, zero knowledge. Hindi siya masyadong applicable sa zero knowledge, but you can still try. But, um, malilito ka. You will have to, you have, you will have to have some, somewhat of an experience as a freelancer. Yun lang yung masasabi ko. But you could still enroll or be with the workshop. I will guide you through it. And just be patient with yourself. Yan yung sasabihin ko. Um, the next one are beginners that already had clients but they didn't have system. Yung medyo dumami bigla yung clients tapos hindi na alam yun ang gagawin. Or nagka-client tapos hindi na alam paano i-service ng tama ang client. Meron bang ganun dito? <laughs> so there's that. And then there would be like medium or like mga medium level or inter tapos intermediate level. So kaya ako nagka-target doon na are there freelancers here that has 10 plus clients or 8 plus clients kaya yun si Miss Yanyan was one of that and kita niyo naman sobrang happy naman siguro si Miss Yanyan sa aming one-on-one -on -one session and then um, na-apply nila agad to guys ha? so we already have a wait list if you guys want to be part of that because there's a limited slot actually because the way I work today is really personalized so um, hindi o kaya yung sobrang dami. So, meron lang limited slots for it. Um, so, this is the beacon stage where you can put your Facebook, Instagram, email. Tapos, kung meron kayong pa-free workbook or free template for your clients, that would be good also. And then, this is if you guys would have your emails um, sometimes in, sometime in the future, kahit hindi pa kayo nag-email marketing at the moment, pwede na din kayo mag-collect talang ng emails. Collect lang. Uh, mala yung magamit niya next time, di ba? There. So, that's beacons, guys. Tapos napagita ko na sa inyo yung inbox. This, guys, is my holy grail. This one, you can get it in advance. Wait lang. Kuha tayo link. Kuha tayo ng link for you guys. You can get this. How much po is a workshop or free po ba? Um, sabihin ko sa'yo in a bit. Jubilee. The workshop is actually tagged or in collaboration with Coach Saraya. Coach Saraya's um, workshop at the moment is priced at 60000 Um, And my workshop is included in that part. But um, it's also offered as a standalone para afford. Okay? So I'll, I'll, I'll share with you my prices in a bit. Sa inyo ko, unang sasabihin kasi... Sunday, tas Monday na pala yung launching. And so, para mauna na din kayong magpa-waitlist or you can actually reserve your slots uh, na by today sa ating yung link na binigay ko. Huwag mo na kayong mag-click dyan kasi baka hindi nyo naman gusto. I need to make sure, you need to make sure. Ito ha, huwag na kayong maging tulad before that you just jump in, you just you just buy you just pay for it just because everyone else is doing it because it's nice, because it looks nice, pero hindi mo naman gagamitin. Kung hindi mo naman gagamitin, huwag ka na lang bumili, okay? All right, I, I, I don't need that kind of energy within the group or sa mag i sa akin. If you're not going to use it, don't, don't, don't be a part of it. Um, maybe it's not your time. Maybe it's the next batch. If you're so full right now, ayusin mo muna ang schedule at calendar mo, <laughs> yun muna. And then, let's see. Okay? So, right now, this is the, this is the onboarding form there. Um, the, the onboarding toolkit is actually just 1-5. And if you get this today, it will be deductible uh, to the workshop once it launches. So, the workshop priced is priced at 5,000 pesos at the moment. <laughs> Baka sa next batches, mag-i-increase sila. 
Uh, so, certain you guys kasi kayo yung first batch. Pero don't be, ano ha, kasi yung iba pala, a workshop, sinasabi sa akin, na if it's the first batch, it's like you're, you guys are the the beta testers or the testing phase. Sa akin, hindi guys, tapos na yan. That's all done. And the first um, case study I had is a social media manager, which right now already has a team and has more clients than I have. And siya na yung nagre-refer sa akin. So, ganun siya ka-effective. So, this is not a test. This is already tested. And it's already done. And I've been using it for quite some time with foreign clients too. And so, that's just it. So, meron tayong ano dito, um, how it would look like. Pero sobrang cute naman dyan. Pero dito, papakita ko sa inyo how it really looks. What it really looks like. Ganyan siya, guys. This is Notion. Shot ko nga. Notion. Oh, nag yung mga 20-ish. <laughs> Notion.so. Guys, if you enroll with our with our workshop, I'm gonna promise you that Boeing Bowie yung 5,000 yun because I'm gonna tell you a secret about Notion and you're gonna have um XXX dollars of credit for it. And so, XXX. So, mga 100-ish. Ganun, Bowie siya. So, this is how I do my onboarding. I'm gonna share with you guys, ah. And I have active clients here at the moment, okay? But this is the template. I've already, if you buy it today, there's already an instruction so that you can use it right away. And then, you can just create this for free. Free lang yung Notion, guys. You can you can use this for free. But if you have, like, multiple, ito, ang dami na namin lagay parang storage, parang mag, may maximum storage siya. Then, may bayad siya. But there's, uh, um, we have we have a starter package with, with Notion and um, there's actually we're gonna teach you guys how to get like five years free or four years free uh, or credit from Notion. And there you go. So I always do my onboarding 20 minutes long, but I'll explain this to you guys in like probably 15 minutes. But then you time. So 20, 27, so 45 or less. So I do this with people depending on the discovery call. Um, sometimes I show them this and sometimes they hire me right away. But what I do if they 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 feel like or I feel like they want to hire me right away, I push them away. I tell them, um, am I the first person you've interviewed or you've talked to? Sabihin nila, yes. My system goes this way. Memorize ko na to, pero may, may whole document ako dito. Um, but you could create your own from this app. I would tell them, I would highly suggest, ganun, pag nasa level ka na, ganun ka na confident, I would highly suggest that you talk to other people and see who, you know, find someone that best fits. Kasi yung skills, these are things that we learned. Other people will have the same skills as me and could perform the same. But what I want you to find is, a, is an assistant, a bookkeeper, a virtual assistant or virtual worker or virtual partner or collaborator that would really fit to your personality because everyone can work the same things, right? Other people can, can work the same the same tasks. But would I get you like properly? parang click I will always tell them that. And that would actually make my um, qualifying face of the client bet better. Kasi sila na yung mag-qualify sa, sa sarili nila din na, ay, mas gusto ko yun. Mas gusto ko si Victoria katrabaho. It's because you have, I've already given them options. That's, that's the part of it. Pero pag sinabi niyo, paano mag-client getting, paano yung simula, prospecting, huwag niya ko tanongin John, tanongin niyo si Miss Ganyan. <laughs> sila yung ganyan. If, if you're already on that portion na discovery call and how to service the client, giving them that customer experience and then giving them customer experience, and magiging happy sila in return magiging happy kayo there welcome packet I don't know if you guys do this usual is welcome email but I hate email kasi ang dami ko na emails dami na din nila emails 70,000 what not kayo ba dito marami din kayong emails pa ano naman siya pa share naman <laughs> kung nag-email management kayo ng sarili niyo or mga 70,000 emails na ba tayo dyan <clears throat> yan um, welcome packet of, meron ba ako ng example dito? 
So there, uh, meron nga pala example, di ko tinanggal. So there's an example, there are the tools, the expectations, the services, blah, blah, blah. So everything's there. Project outline, this is also, um, you can create your own project outline. I cannot provide a project outline for you because it's different for every niche. It's different for every work type. Diba? If it's full-time, it's flexible or whatnot, it depends. So assets, meaning if you're SMM, that would mean a graphics, whatnot. If you're if you're a bookkeeper, assets would mean um iba kasi sa atin, diba? properties and whatnot. But for this portion, you would tell them assets would be invoices, um, any documentation. Nagaling sa nila, like PDF or like a receipt and whatnot. That separates it from your document storage. Your document storage would be those that were created for them, like spreadsheets. Um, Google Docs, whatnot, forms, and meeting notes if needed. So, I'm, so dyan na po mag-access si client, no emails. Yes. So, I'm gonna, so you're gonna give them like share, and then share to web, and then you're gonna copy the web link, and then um, you could just click here, allow comment, allow to comment. But you know what? Most of them, just likes it to have it viewed. Parang directory nila. So every time they they ask for me for something, it's there. Lahat ng ginawa ko for them, it's here. So it's also different from the project management tool. So I'm going to show you one that I have. I'm going to show you one. So I have Asana as my project management tool, right? Okay, tapos na, wala na akong task dyan, guys. Meron ako dito client na siya yung wala. Kaya hindi ako makagalaw sa mga gusto niya. Meron akong overdue 11 kasi wala siya, guys. She's out. Hindi ko alam na siya siya. Pero nag-postpone siya ng meeting, so hindi ko muna gagalaw yun yan. Anyway, here, I'll show you. This is what they call me, Victoria, the organizer specialist. If I go there, I have here my board. The way I organize things is they have their documents directory. Their documents directory, most of the people I work with, they'd always ask me, Victoria, where's the da da da? Or like, um, sabihin natin, May, Jella, do you know what drive the calendar SOP is or the reels ideas is and blah, 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 blah. So, sabihin nila, oh, hindi ko alam na sa kaninong drive ba yun? Ano, ano, ano. Mahirap. Mahirap hanapin. Kung, Yung paghahanap nyo, nagawa nyo na yung tasks for sure sa time na binigay nyo doon. So, dito, I, I created the documents directory for them. So, there's an old version. These are new versions. Meron dyan. So, the date that it was created. And then, nandyan lahat. And then, also, I created here Leah's Hub. Leah is my client. So, Leah's Hub, and, uh, Client Hub, and Quick Quick. This is her notion. We're in Jenya, makikita lahat. Which is, ay, bakit? Ay, sorry. Nag-change ata ng, ay, maling Google yung na-open ko. Sorry, guys. Yes, so, let's just go here. So, this is her actually notion. There you go. Ito yung notion. So, as you can see, everything's here. And then, with this one, with this one, what ha what's so good about this? Because my onboarding system, I'm just dropping this in advance. Katama to sa workshop. But I call it the two-way onboarding system. All right. So actually, tapos na ako. Actually, na nagsalita na ako lahat ng mga kailangan. Siguro yung medyo mahaba dito na i-discuss if hindi nila binasa. It's the service level agreement for the contract. All the rest, they can read, they can read it by their, on their own. And then I just walk them through. Uh, you can see here, this is my availability. These are the channels that you can contact. If there's a li there's that, I have a Facebook and I have an Instagram. And pag walang link dyan, meaning you cannot contact me on these channels if it's work. I mean, if you're just socializing, fine. But if it's work, ito lang. Pag kinontak mo ako dyan about work, kasi mayroon ka gusto ipagawa, tapos nakikita mong online ako, naglalaro ako online, naglalive ako, Tapos di ko naman oras na ang trabaho sa'yo. Huwag ka magalit kasi I have my likes too even if it's online. Can earn. <laughs> so, there. And then, here is what I'm saying. 
na bakit hindi ko na kailan mag-file ng leave, mag magsabi sa kanila na oh, I'm I'm not available because I don't like using no, can't, I'm not able to. So, hindi ako magpapaalam. Ipapaalam ko lang sa inyo. I'm just letting you know that I'll be off for these days. So, Q4 or quarter 4 schedule blocking. So, hindi ko naman pwedeng ibigay sa kanya ng annual kasi hindi naman ako sure kung aabot ka na ganun, di ba? <laughs> or, it, it's also overwhelming for them if I give them the whole year. How about I just give them the month or the quarterly, di ba? But mostly quarterly ako nagbibigay. Um, depende sa kliyente. So, to email this, sa so yung so, so, sa September, tapos na yan. Um, do, there are clients that would request me to email them. And there are other clients na, wag man na i-email, I'll just go to the link. Okay. So, ito na. So, for October 40, 14, 28, yan lahat, lahat dyan. Nakalagay dyan. Off ako dyan. You may contact me, but do not expect me to respond. Or, if you have something urgent, meron na silang parang nakaset dyan na something na system or like nakaset na ng mga preemptive measures if they need something else. Ganun. May jala, um, the link is up above. You can have that in advance and also that will be a reservation fee if you would also um, push forward to the workshop. Anyhow, so that's how I do it. So the calendar, if you do your calendar right, you can actually use it also as a workflow. So this one, I don't usually put kung ano yung pag-leave ko kasi kahit local na clients, huwag niya na akong tanungin. Basta mag-leave ako dyan. <laughs> huwag niya na tanungin. Yung nilalagay ko lang or the Christmas, kasi baka magbigay ng gift or yung birthday ko, kasi baka magbigay din sila ng gift. Those are the things maybe personal na pwede kong i-share, you know, something. And so the, all the others, these are anniversaries, these are just things na feeling ko kailan ko lumabas, ganun. So, I put it there. <laughs> so, ganun lang siya, guys. So, if you, if you put your calendar into place properly, and then you you position yourself with your clients properly, yung initial call ni pa lang, and then they would actually feel that you're also in control with your life. And I'm a partner, I'm a collaborator, I'm not an employee na 9 to 5. You have to respect my time. And I would respect course. And some of my clients are actually following this already. So they're also planning their quarterly and their, and their annual. Kasi gusto din nila, ganito. Oh, I could actually do that pala. Ganito, ganito. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Definitely. And so, yeah. I guess that's that's it, guys. I think I'm all good. You guys good? Hindi nga ako nagpadpost. Register na kayo. Umuwi na yung iba. May tuturo pa naman sana ako regarding sa negotiation na tinatanong nila. Kaso mo mm, na Ay, oo. Ay, para dun sa ano, rates. Uh, okay lang yan. Hindi pero ano, yan. Na gusto, ako actually maganda yung kay ano. Kay Victoria, yun nga. Kasi para kami ng, para tayo na ng vision eh. Yung bang, ikaw na mamimili ng kliyente. Yun naman talaga yung tinuturo ko sa inyo. Sa una talaga, hindi nyo gets ng langit. Pero susunod talaga, malalaman nyo si yung right client nyo and oras nyo. They, they actually siya ma-appreciate agad. Lalo na Dada pag yung... Dadaan naman sila eh. Sila eh. Hmm. Diba't pinagdaanan na natin? Movies tayo. Yes. <laughs> Goal, yes. Kaya kami ng tira dati. Tirahin na namin yan. Pero nalaman namin nakaka-burn out. Tirahin na namin yan. Para pagdating sa point na andyan na pala, gulo-gulo na andyan lang. Andyan na kayo. So, Ko-hold down yung kliyente. Nasasayang yung client. Kasi kinuha mo lahat. Pero hindi mo pala siya kayang i-maintain. So, yes. babalik ka sa ulit sa scratch from zero, getting clients. Tapos. Like zero clients. <laughs> kaya naman siya. Kaya lang kasi diba, another, ano na naman, ba, ano ba, ito na naman. Saklap. Another, Ang oh, saklap pala ng sa akin. Oh. Ay, para. <laughs> so, yun. So, alay naman dun sa kay Victoria, sana, ano, mag-avail kayo kasi makakatulong sa inyo. Hindi lang sa lahat. So, mga, 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 pero sabi nga ni Victoria, ito yung applicable siya sa may mga client na, at gusto mag-grow yung business. Para ngayon pala, eh, nagagamit. Tama. Anong difference ng 1.5K sa 5K? Where to get more info? Alright. So, 1.5K, this is just the onboarding toolkit. The 5K, um, it's up to you if you're gonna avail it. Kasi hindi ko pa tapos yung sales page ko, guys. Eh. 
Sorry, ang hirap pala ng ganito, guys. Di ko alam. <laughs> Ibang level si Coach Raya, guys. Napupush yung limits ko ang kakataulo minsan. Pero laban tayo, guys. Kasi, ano, magandang. <laughs> Kaya ba natin yun? Coach yan yan. Magko-coach yeah, yeah. Raya level lang kami. Diyos ko. <laughs> Guys, sobrang, sobrang super value bomb na to sa 5K. Kasi pag doon kayo nag-enroll, this is actually valued at 10K. 60,000 sa kanya. Uh-huh. 60,000 sa kanya. Tapos nasa no, 20K si ano. Um, yung 5K, hindi po ba included ng client onboarding? Sa 5K, included uh-huh. siya. So, yung 1.5K, pag nag-avail kayo today, that's already kind of your reservation fee. And makukuha nyo na mauunan yung makukuha sa onboarding. Sige, okay, pagkubuha kayo, may follow-up session ako dun kasi in-apply ko siya sa isang client ko at ang sabi ni client, oh, wow! <laughs> eh, kasi, di ba dinalagay mo na yon Tapos dito mo na lang titignan yung service agreement. O, may sunan siya agreement. Doon kinapload yung agreement. Tapos doon yeah. kinapload yung mga link ng Google Drive na titignan niya. Ah, uh, uh, oras na rin ako nilagay na oras. Ginaya na kita na kung 9 a.m. EST time, ganyan. Ganito lang ako online. Yes! Ah, uh, so, de ba? May follow-up session ako doon kasi ilalagay niyo kung ano laman noon. Iba ang laman ng social media sa accounting ko ano ilalaman niyo doon. Yes, yes, yes. So, yun yung ipapakita ko yeah. sana sa inyo. So, para para kumuha kayo para lalo kayong maingan yung anong nakalagay naka- diyan. Wait lang, ito na. It's, it's up to you guys. May recording ka ba? Gusto ko din pakita sa kanila. Makaka-share sound ba dito? Yes. Sige. Si ikaw ba mauna? Ito, yung ito may muna. recording ka kay client. Ayan. Sige. Kasi after nyo yan, syempre, hindi yung, di ba, ang goal nga natin, less free na si client. So, binigay na ni Victoria yung mga template. Kayo naman, i-fill out nyo yung parang pang accounting. Yes. So, dapat, may checklist kayo para well-guided si client. Yung mm-hmm. sinasabi kong sales pitch nyo dyan, kapag interview portion, actually, client can have a minute, can I show you something I created for you, just in case you will hire me. I have this kind of uh, blah, blah, blah. Bahala na kayo. Mm-hmm. And inside, meron ako, ibubok, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, kaya mo makukuha si client, pinapa-experience mo sa kanya yung customer class experience. Oh, customer Charat. experience, di ba? Ang ganda na ginawa ni, ano, ano yan, yun. Tapos, eto na, ibubok through mo siya, a client, after onboarding, inside the, inside the packet, the assets, or any login materials nandiyan na yan. So, ibubok through mo siya ng eto, kasi gagawin ko, eto, tapos, ito, hinighlight ko to kasi dito minsan nawawala yung client. Missing in action siya kapag hindi siya nakapagbigay. So, client, kapag hindi ka nakapagbigay, hindi ko masasara yung libro mo. Hindi ko matatapos yung report. Kaya ko ito hinighlight kasi may mga client na ganyan. Pero, etong eto na yung framework at eto na yung mga checklist ko. Isasama mm-hmm. ko to kapag nag... Hindi ko pa rin to din. Ngayon ko lang to pinakita pa. Kasi... Eh, yes, yun, yan, yan. Pwede mo yun i-send sa akin tapos sinagay ko doon sa project. Sa kanila. Sa Oo, tapos tuturuan ko na lang sila paano siya ipipit sa client. Siguro yung mga mm-hmm. uh, follow-up session doon sa... Uh, ah, meron ng mag-bloom video. Bloom yan. So, ganyan. Ganyan uh-huh. siya. Para dire-diretsyo na kayo. Para lahat ng assets so, nandito na. Yan. Ganyan mm-hmm. ang gagawin natin, di ba? Walk through loom. Ginagawa ko na rin naman ito. Siguro ko sa kanila itong mag-loom, di ba? Yes. Para save time kayo dyan. So, ayan. Yes. Ayan ko lang naisip. Pa-plug in natin sa kay, kay Victoria para yes. customize sa inyo. Kasi iba yung pang social media, di ba? Iba ang assets ng mga yan. Ah, ah. Yan. Pero actually, may edit lang yan, ah. Makakos, mm-hmm. alam ni Miss yan yan. So, pag nag-avail kayo doon, naroon na rin instructions doon. Applicable ba if mag-join si susunod na batch na lang i-apply ang discount? Hindi siya actually discount. Parang nauna lang siyang, ano. Um, Templated. Templated. Nauna lang nauna lang siyang bayad. Parang reservation fee lang siya. So, may next I batch pa. Ibig lang sila. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-avail oh. sila 1.5, yung, yung late ng no show. Deductible. Pero, no, deductible kapag nag-5K. Pero kung hindi sila mag-5K, yes. notion lang makukuha. Wala. Notion lang makukuha nila. Yes. So, there's more to come. Um, Pina-evaluate ko sa foreign mentor ko yung, yung workshop natin, guys. Ha? It's evaluated at... at, at da, 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 da. It's evaluated at around 30 to 40K. So, around ano, around $1,000 sa kanila. Ayan Kasi lahat ng top leaders ko. Oo. Yan yung Kasi yung mga... Out, diba? Kasi mm-hmm. wala iba pang ganyan. So, masaya yung nandito ngayon. Kasi naabutan pa nila. Diba? Yes. Narinig niyo yung uh, good news. Yan. Good news siya. So, eto guys, question ginawa. Ba? May question ka, Cecil. Yes. 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 Question ko lang is, ano, uh, anong schedule nung 
nung training mo at saka ano yung self face o merong v- may may meet up to ano ah kasi yung so, scheduling madali lang Des- <laughs> madali lang siya promise miss yan yan at saka one, one year ba yun o lifetime na yun na hindi wala akong mga ganyan kasi alam niyo ah, nabuboid okay. kayo tapos di niyo naman binabalikan ganyan din ako kaya wala tayong ganyan But but the recordings uh, will be housed somewhere that you can access. Dion for sure. Um, what happens is with my workshop, it's gonna be two days workshop, and then because this is um, in collaboration with Coach Saraya, so don't kasi it's part of that. Um, what happens is there are people that have already reached out to me that they can be a part of it. Kasi meron na mga nag-enroll don sa so 60k ni Coach Saraya, which is kasama don. Kung doon kayo nag-enroll, yung value ng course na to is 10K kay Coach Raya. Sa akin, sa atin, 5K lang. Kaya these links are specific for you guys and for TBSA, I think, nabigay ko. And then I still have another workshop na mabibigyan na to. So hindi to um, actually for, for, for right now, kasi gusto ko mauna siyang i-fill out sa mga groups na kilala ko because I know that you guys need it. Kasi pag naubos yung 100 slots ko, um, cut off na ko. Kasi imagine ninyo, Miss Yanyan, alam mo to, imagine, imagine mo yung one-on-one ko, tas 100 ka tao. <laughs> Ganun ako ka-expensive, guys. Hindi ako nag-pipigil kung ano yung pwede kong i-share sa inyo. Kung ano yung na-apply ko, ginamit ko sa foreign clients ko. And to tell you guys, my foreign clients, I'm not only doing email management or organizing or creating systems. Uh, ngayon, I'm exploring with para siyang um, accountability or productivity coach. So, I have two clients already na yung gagawin ko lang sala is like co-working session. I can work with something else and then they would work and then I tell them, I correct them if wala na sila sa trabaho na they share with you. So, there, there's that kind of work wherein there's still some learnings still kasi kailangan ko silang i-correct properly. And in a way, parang productivity coach din nila ako. There's one that I need to track their habits and whatnot. So those things. So creating a system very personalized to you and what works for you. And you tell me what the struggles you have. And then we can work around it. Um, There will be group coaching. Na yung parang workshop. Kasi group yon. That is actually on a tentative date already of October 10 to 11. Dito ko pala yun sinabi ha, hindi pa ako na soft lunch. Huwag naman nasabihin sa ilo. Sa Monday pa yun lalabas, guys. Papatayin na ako ng market. Papatayin na ako ni Coach Raya, guys. Pero in-announce niya to sa email list niya. Doon sa mga naka-wait list. And then, ngayon, in-announce ko sa ilo. Um, why am I doing this uh, right now? Kasi ang rami-rami sa one-on-one session ko na humihingi na ng onboarding. Kasi kailangan na namin. Kailangan na namin. And then, I'm working with a team, guys. Ah. Hindi kasi ako mag-isa. Kung ako lang siguro mag-isa, bigay ko na rin sa inyo lahat. Eh. Bahala na kayo dyan. <laughs> But I'm working with a team. And and I need to pay these people as well. So, that 5K, actually, they wanted to separate it. But sabi ko, wag na. Kasi pag mag-enroll yan, parang doble, diba? So, i-deduct ko na. If you if you if meron na kayong 1.5 sa onboarding toolkit, it's up to you naman. You can get it now or not. Antayin niyo yung workshop. And then, para dun na lahat. But, yeah. So, there. Um, so, so 1.5K, that's deductible and already your reservation fee. Para pag napuno yung 100, nauna na kayo. Nandun na kayo sa listahan. Kasi I cannot do more than 100. Kaya siguro mag-more than 100 ko, kailan ko kayong patiin. <laughs> hindi ko kaya na. <laughs> hindi ko siya kaya. And I'm only gonna do this this quarter, guys, ha. Next quarter, December or January na yung next batch. Kasi yung mga one-on-one session ko, Kahit 30 minutes mo lang akong kausap, meron ka nang makukuha doon. Um, and, and these are the, the things that I do with foreign clients as well. Which is, um, wala. Tapos makukuha niyo sila for free, sa, for free with the 5K. Um, I, I'm, I'm just telling you guys that sobrang sulit na nito. And the one thing I'll share with you, pwede ba mag-share sound dito? Uh, if hindi nyo pa ito nakita, ito yung beta test ko ha. Tinesting ko to agad sa foreign client um, months back. And this is what she she was able to say. Kung hindi nyo to nakita pa dun sa pie coach sa Ryan na page pa lang to nakapost. Eh. Pero siguro pwede natin itong i-post sa konting people. Let's see. Rinig ba? 
bakit di nagpe-play? Paano siya? Paano siya i-play? Um, sa gitna, ano ka? Yan. Hindi siya parang nagpe-play. Na, parang nakita ko na yun. Pinost mo nga yan, di ba? Oo. Bakit di siya nagpe-play dito? <laughs> okay, wait lang. Hanapin ka. She's recorded okay. on the training mo? Yes, recorded naman po lahat. Yung template, eh, may kasama ng parang ano, may kasama ng recorded yes. na video para kung paano i-edit yung template. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yan na, na-edit na yan ni Miss Yan yan eh. Natapos na nga niya. <laughs> Kinostomize ko na siya dun sa client. Inedit ko rin yung ah. we kasi ay ako. So yung mga ganong uh, welcome packet ah. na ay, ganun na yung lagay ko. So, yung nandun sa akin, yun yung sa amin talaga. Mm-hmm. Binigay ko na lahat. I-edit nyo na lang na I-edit parang sa'yo. At least may guide na kayo dun na ah, ganito pala. Kasi mag yung scope of work doon. Meron doon part na scope of work. Na. Kaya i-edit nyo rin siya. Pero madali na lang. Madali na lang siya guys. Promise. Tapos, um, madali naman din po akong kausap. Pag gusto nyo, <laughs> alam siguro na may siya yan yan. So sabihin ko na siya, tanong sa akin, Zoom na lang tayo. 10 minutes lang yan. Tapos na tayo. <laughs> Ganyan. Mabilis lang ako, guys. Pwede kayong sabay-sabay. Hindi ako ano eh. Yan yung ikinaganda pag ano. Pag charot yung life. Pag charot yung life. Pwede nga ano. Pwede. Ito guys. Ito na hanap ko na siya. Share. Share sound. Share. You also, uh, it was very, the system was fantastic. You came super prepared, super on time, early. Not only that, but you also, uh, it was very clear and easy to follow. And I could tell that you have a system and you know what you're doing. And yeah. And I liked how you just used that that really clear, like you shared your screen and I could see everything that you're talking about. I really like that we went over the contract together because yeah. it's something I would have done on my own, but it's nice just to talk it through with somebody. Yeah. So I love that. And yeah, and then there was time for me to share the stuff that you needed from me. And I feel very clear about what you, what, what I have to do this coming week for you. And I think we're good to go. So Thank you can tell your mentor, very happy customer over here. Ayan guys. So siya yung pinakauna kong beta test. So hindi na to beta test para sa inyo. I mean, first time kong present ginamit sa isang kliyente agad bago ko siya ginamit sa workshop. <laughs> so, um, ginagawa ko na to siya before pa. Hindi ko na talaga shinare kasi yun nga, ilala ko na Miss Yanyan, hindi ako ma-share na tao. First time yata ako so, madaldal. May iba kasi tayo ng personality. O, uh, para matuwa kayo lalo, ito yung sa akin. No, after namin mag-meeting ni Victoria, in-apply ko siya agad. So, the next day, may client. So, service agreement siya yung nag-sense. Pinako na na dyan. Tapos dito, project outline. Siyempre, ito yung mga work na gagawin. Para lang mas ma-visualize nyo siya paano siya. Asset, syempre yung mga link, credential, document storage. Nandiyan na siya lahat. Tapos naka-plug in na dito sa project yung task na gagawin ko. And then ang gusto ko yung oras. Inedit ko yung oras ko dito. Syempre kung kailan ako available. Kaya kung magtataka kayo bakit nakakagala pa ako, kain lang ako ng kain. Kasi <laughs> yung sinabi niya champagne moment, ako yung si kain. Ng, nakikita niyo naman ako sa kain ako ng kain kasi talaga nagpapahapi sa akin, di ba? Sabi nila, yun yeah. yung psychological wallet. Sabi mo dati nung bata ako kasi, hindi ako nakakakain ng sarap. Parang si Chucky, di ba? Ako hindi rin ako nakakain. <laughs> Chucky ko at steak ako. Oo, uh, uh, steak na kung steak. Bahala na kung magkano yan. Pero masaya yes. ako. So, gusto ko yung ganun. So, ang tagal. Pero anyway, ganyan siya mag, sa real estate client. So, nung sinabi ko to, oh wow. O di ba? Yun lang nasabi oh, diba? nyo. Diba? Para lang ma-appreciate nyo lalo yung template. Para kang, para kang may website na specific for them. Sa kanila lang. Customized diba? talaga. Para sa kanila lang. Tapos pag diba? nakakalimot siya, balik ka dun sa Notion. Balik ka sa Notion. Nandun lahat sa Notion. Nandun okay. lahat. Eh, check mo nga, pag nag-offboard ka, kung in-offboard mo siya, nang gagawin mo? Wala ka nang gagawin. Oo, sa offboard. Nakadit. Kasi babasahin na lang nila eh, pag di pa nila nabasa, di ba? Invoice, tsaka invoice, gusto ko yung invoice tracker kasi alam ko kung mag invoice na ako sa kanya, di ba? Katapusan na. Yan, yung gusto kong part dun yung invoice tracker. <laughs> di ba? Yan, may invoice tracker din kasi dito. Di ba? Importante yan, meeting notes. Tapos kapag nag-meeting kayo dito man na ilalagay ko na lang pag-usapan, anong date, tapos off-board. Pero ito yata yung off-boarding. Ano ba sinasabi mo dito? Nabago ko ba? 
Hindi ko pa yata na-edit. Um, oh, i-edit mo muna yun. Sa offboarding. Ah, di ba? I'm sad yeah. to see you go, but I guess, o oh, di ba, parting may something. Siyempre, in-edit ko na to. Akin na to. Logo ko to. Hindi mo pa in-edit yung taas, girl. Ay, yung isa. Meron pa. O, oh, hindi pa to. Eto, hindi pa. Pero eto, di pa naman yan na ano mm-hmm. siya. Yan. Mm-hmm. testimonial. Ayan. So, ito pa, hindi pa. Pero yung sinasabi dyan, di ba, magbibigay kang testimonial, offboarding checklist kapag maglilet ko na kayo. So, di ba, mm-hmm. parang siya naman, ay, do let go mo na agad ako. Di pa nga na, mm-hmm. di ba? So, <laughs> natakot diba? na. Sabi, di ka mo na agad siya ng worry in life, di ba? Natakot na agad siyang mawala ka. Eh, kasi simula lang natin. No, hindi. Para lang, ano nga, lagi kayo magsiset <clears throat> yung station. Laging ganun lagi sa onboarding. Kaya nga, ang key kasi sa freelancing, masaya kayo sa ginagawa yung oras nyo, kumikita kayo ng tama, na makakabuild kayo ng good relationship. Basta gagaan lahat kapag nagawa nyo yung mga tinuturo namin. Kasi yun na talaga yung nakaka-success sa inyo sa freelance. Mm. Although overwhelming kasi ang dami nyo pang aaralin, may nag-quick books online, may nag-zero, getting clients. Pero in a way yan, magpapadali yan. Pwede nyo siyang i-pitch sa client during interview. Guys, kaya, kaya tong gawin ng isang oras lang. Tapos kung alam nyo na mag-canva, mabilis lang. Type, type. Tapos upload, upload. Ano ka? Sige, ano, ay, Victoria, ay, yung ano? mag-e-enroll, sabihin mo ko sino-sino, pa-file up session ako, ipa-plug in ko yung checklist. Tapos tuturuan ko. Ah, guys, pwede nyo naman ako i-message sa messenger ko, yung sa clarity. Sabihin nyo na lang na for um, under Miss Yanyan, under Miss Yanyan. Para... Pwede kong i-forward sa kanila lahat. Mas follow-up session tayo kung ano ilalagay nyo doon. Yung ilalaman. Oo. Pwede mo ako i-follow doon. Pag free ako. Bilisan. Hmm, para dalagay natin. Para mas maganda ito. Wait ito. lang. Bakit? Paano ko ba? Wait. Pakita ko na lang sa inyo. May nagtatanong dito. Paano daw if multiple clients? So, I'll share with you ha. This one. Yan. Yan. I have multiple clients here. Tatlo yung nandito. Kasi ito yung shared client namin. Um, I have here Leah, I have here Christine, and then Jack. Copy-paste lang yan. So, ganito yung nangyayari. nangyayari. Duplicate nyo lang yan. So, yung template na makukuha nyo sa akin, huwag nyo gagalawin yan, yung template. Gawa pa kayo ng example, duplicate. Ganito yung mangyayari. Oh. You, will, you will receive an email from sales at bigandlovesocials.com. You will receive something like this. Pakita ko na sa inyo. Pakita ko na sa you will receive something like this. Ganito ako, guys. <laughs> Kabilis. Naka-template na din yan. Um, actually, hindi ako yung magsisend to inyo. Pero example, kung meron nang nag today, pwede ako na din mag-send to si Oxilab today. So, yan. Nandiyan na. So, lalagay ko na lang yung emails nyo. And then, set that. This is the link. So, yung link. So, yan yung link. Um, merong lalabas dyan duplicate. Tapos, pag wala pa kayong account, sample, duplicate. Ito, wala pa kasi itong account. Papagawa kayo ng account. Yan. Tapos, pag nakagawa na kayo ng account, let's say, dito, nakagawa na kayo ng account, lalabas yon Parang ganito. Huwag nyo itong kagalawin. Kasi ito yung template nyo. Gawa ulit kayo ng duplicate. So, click here. Then, um, duplicate nyo lang yan. Gagawa yan ng iba. yon sa ito, pwede nyo na siyang palitan ng pangalan. Sabihin natin, Rema. Nagpo-populate naman siya eh. Rema. Tapos ito, guys, huwag nyo ito kalimutan. I-delete nyo ito ah, pag wala na. <laughs> pag, pag ready na for client. Kasi ito, dito, lalabas yung, yung video ng how to duplicate. Paano ba yung mag-duplicate? So, mabilis lang talaga, guys, na video as in, paano ba siya i-duplicate? Yan. Tapos lalabas dyan. Tapos, pupunta siya. Tapos, doon kayo sa taas. Click, duplicate. Yun. And then, you will log in. Yun. We knock through na kayo dito. Yung katulad ng pag-walk. So, all done. The client portal is there. And then, you can go ahead and duplicate this. If you want to change the cover photo, ito lang, parang Facebook. Change, cover photo, upload. Tapos, tatanungin nyo ako, anong pixel, anong size? Guys, lalabas din dyan. 1,500 pixels. Lagay nyo lang sa Canva kung alam nyo dito. Pag nahirapan pa kayo sa Canva, sabihan nyo ako, gawan ko kayo. Bilis na. Tapos, dito, <laughs> um, eto dito, um, icons, pwede siyang, actually, pwede siyang ganyan. Kung gusto nyo, or kung gusto nyo din, picture, um, custom, upload, ano na namang, ano, size na maganda. Nandiyan na din, guys. 280 by 280. 
nakalagay. Nakalagay, nakalagay na din siya. Tapos, how to um, customize the other things. So, here. So, you can also use this ebook guide. Kasi, guys, if minsan video, kailan ulit ulitan nyo. Or like, um, merong iba na gusto yung walkthrough talaga. But we found it best after testing with like, I did a test, I think about 30 people. It They did it faster. I also tested this with a grade grades, grade, ano bang, ano ba yung 10 years old? Basta 10 years old. Ginawa niya to, guys, in, in, in an hour. So, my welcome lang. And then you'll have there the anatomy. Ano siya? The welcome message, the onboarding process, yung checklist. This is the client dashboard. These are the availability contact and then the project overview. It's up to you kung i-delete mo siya or maglalagay ka, dagdag, whatever details you want. And then these are the table of contents. Um, how to edit the text in the block, um, cover photo, add in the widgets and whatnot. And next is yun na siya. So editing, yeah. So this is also a, a um, video, yeah. So you can edit there. My video na siya dito. And then these are the cover photos that you can change. And then these are the free widgets na pwede niyong tignan kung ano yung gusto niyo. You can explore it. Mabilis lang yung pato. And these are all free. Free lang siya. Then there. So that's just ganun lang siya kabilis. And then if you want to change this example, ito, kasi hindi naman assets yung gagamitan niyo. So you could change this to, let's say, receipts. There. And then itong picture, papalitan niyo lang. Let's palitan natin para sure. Mm. Yon. Tapos ito din sa baba. Papalitan mo lang din siya ng picture. Tadaan. Replace niya lang siya ng sample. Ibang picture. Or mag-upload din yung something there. So, mapapalitan siya. Ganun lang siya kagulis. So, para ka lang mag- Parang drag and drop lang. You don't need to be an expert sa Notion. Ako din guys, hindi ako marunong masyado mag-Notion. Ito lang yung ni-request ko kay Love. Na gusto ko visual. Kasi noon, ito lang ang meron ako. Ang boring, di ba? <laughs> Tapos yung na-discover ko na pwede pala siyang going visual. Yan on. Kasi with my other clients, meron akong mga clients na ADHD. Meron akong clients na merong mga iba't-ibang ewan sa life. Na mas gusto nila visual. Kasi mas mabilis sila matuto. So, those are, those, merong mga clients na ba? Okay, stop share. Nasa video din po ba ang Notion subscription or pwede pong mag-share ng Notion sa client kahit free account sa Notion? You can share the view only or comment sa clients. Mostly naman, this one, um, I would suggest do not let your client handle this portal, only you. So, view only lang siya. Because it's a directory. It's not the project management tool for them. This is the link for it, them as a directory. It's not recommended that you guys are going to project manage in this one. Because as you can see, these is the cards that are there. Yung parang sa Trello card. It's a directory. Hindi naman nila kailan mag-comment dyan. Like, hindi nila kailangan mag-comment dun sa document storage. Kasi storage lang siya. Li-link niya lang dun from the Google Drive. Yung project outline, that space as is. Your service type level agreement, that space as is. This is just something they could go back to. Every time they need something or they want something na ginawa mo. While your project management tool is a totally different. Um, Doon yung mga tasks mo. These are the deadlines for this one and whatnot. But you can actually do that then sa Notion ha. But um, I'm not offering that at the moment. Kasi ma-overwhelm kayo sa Notion. If you start with Notion, like with my, <laughs> uh, meron akong mga case studies, they went ahead and searched and, and learned it and they sat down for it for four hours, five hours. Mas expert na sila sa kanya yan, but I told them, was that being productive and effective? You don't actually need to learn Notion at an expert level. You just need to know this part. Kasi ito pala yung magkam. If you have the time na to learn it, then you can. I want you to be productive and efficient. There's difference between being uh, efficient and also effective. Right? Efficient meaning you're doing the things. Yes, you're doing things, but you're not doing it uh, the, the right things at the right time. Being effective is just using it as a bare minimum. Yung gusto ko yung gagawin nyo, doing it 
at the bare minimum na yun lang yung kailangan, yun lang yung gagamitan, yun lang muna. And then once you figure things out and you have more time, then you can learn more. Huwag niyang i-overwhelm yung sarili niyo. Because that happens eh. Oh, I don't know how to use this sana. I don't know how to use Notion. Well, I'm not telling you to learn everything about it. You just need to know how to use it according to the needs that you have to do. Not everything at the time. Kasi kahit ngayon, hindi ako marunong maggawa ng from scratch na Notion. That's all love. I'm just using this template and I'm still using it with prospecting. Miss Yanyan is using it with hers. And... It works kahit hindi ka expert. Ano? Ano, Miss Yanyan? Mabilis lang tayo, di ba, no? Isang call lang. Isang call lang. Tapos in-apply ko na agad kasi excited na ako. Hmm. Yan na, client na agad. Huwag niyo i-overthink na kailangan alam niyo. And huwag niyo isipin yung subscription, guys. <laughs> kasi ano lang siya, for view only. And if um, meron na siyang prompt na at, at, at ano kaya, at a maximum na kaya, my meron kaming remedy chan. Meron kami ituturo sa inyo, guys. So, don't worry about that. Okay lang yan. Ta-da! So, na sila. Ano, may questions kayo, guys? Three questions, up. guys. Kaya pa. Stop ko na. Ay, may nag-chat-chat sa akin. May nag 